Very important Western Athletic Conference football game today here in Provo. And the BYU Cougars will receive to open the game. Mahoney is back to kick off. Derek Mahoney for Fresno State. We have Tyler Anderson and Steve Christensen as the two deep men for Brigham Young University. And it's a bright, sunshiny day. Temperature approaching 70 degrees. And just perfect weather. Crowd still filing in. It's not a... The stands are not full at this point. There are a lot of fans still coming in. Here's Mahoney's kick then to open the football game. It's a line drive kick, and it'll be kicked into the end zone and bounce on out of the end zone. There will be no return. Brigham Young University will take over first and ten of their own 20 following the touchback. Mahoney's a pretty good kicker. He does everything for them when it comes to kicking. He's their punter, their place kicker. He does the kickoffs. And here's the starting quarterback, now Steve Clements for BYU. So he's excited about getting a chance to be... Uh, and along the line, M.P. Edwards, Simmons, Pilgrim, and Herring, the usual alignment. Uh, and they'll see uh, what they can do today to help protect Steve Clements in his first start of this year. He started one game last year following an injury. So Clements ready with split backs. He'll throw on first down. Sets, does throw. It's incomplete. Steve Christensen, the pass a little bit in back of him. Uh, uh, Papasian, that is, was putting the pressure on and covering. That was the right idea coming out. I'm sure uh, President State thought that they were going to come out running the football to test the running game, and so they threw the short underneath pass, trying to give Steve a little bit of confidence, but he did throw behind. The defensive uh, alignment for the Bulldogs, Bell, Edwards, and Rockwell are the down linemen up front. Smith, Peters, Papasian, Stoutmeyer is a freshman, are the linebackers, and then back deep you've got Burton, Watson, Thomas, and Jones. Cougars have second and ten behind Clements, a quarterback, from the 20. It's a running play. This time it's uh, Hall for BYU. He's got about three yards off the left side. Last year, BYU really hurt them with the run. Demetrius Edwards made the stop. They tried to run the counter play there. They just didn't quite get the, the hole clean. The linebacker was able to move back in and make the play. The middle linebacker's playing pretty good football for Fresno State. In fact, he was the lag defensive player of the week last week, and so uh, he's playing better each week. Clements is a junior out of Huntsville, Texas. Went to Texas, then transferred to BYU. So he had to sit out a year and then was injured last year. Third down and seven. For the Cougars, Salioni, the tight end, shifts over the left. Split backs again. And here's Clements back to throw once again. Austin Wood takes it, he'll cut it down and run it. And he runs it up over the 30 to the 34 yard line for a first down for BYU. So Clements gets the first down for Payson and Peters, the tacklers. That's an extra dimension that Steve Clements gives. When uh, the receivers are covered, he's able to pull the ball down and run with it. Uh, no one's questioned whether he's a competitor or not. He'll do whatever it takes to get first downs. He'll do whatever it is to get touchdowns. So this was a good effort. When he got the first down, he was smart enough to get down so he didn't get hurt again like he did in the Hawaii game. All right, Brigham Young University with the first down on their own 34-yard line. First offensive series of the game, two men wide to the left, one in the slot, running play up the middle. Kalen Hall bouncing off uh, block and ten would-be tacklers, bounces forward for a couple of yards, and that's all. Kalen had a good run, Kalen had a good running game last year. This time he is tackled by Chris Rockwell. He tried to run the trap inside. It looked like he was a little slow making up his mind whether, where he was going to hit the hole. And uh, against people like Fresno State, you just got to come out running and hit the hole full speed and hope that it happens. The game a little over a yard. Make it second and a long nine for BYU. Paul Malone setback. Knowles is in as a running back. He moved is out with a broken finger. Here's a pitch to... Uh, the right side for BYU and a sweep to Jamal Willis and Willis does not have very much he's at most another yard they had success last week getting the sweep and getting outside on Notre Dame and I'm sure Fresno uh, could see as soon as they got the toss they were going to react to the ball they're not going to get them outside for the big yardage and so they were in pursuit so it puts them in a third and long situation Fresno has not done well against the run this year Bell and Thomas with attackers on the last one Bell is a returning starter, and he has experience, and so he's been playing pretty steady for him this year, I believe. Fresno State is last in the whack in rushing defense. We have a third down and seven for BYU. Might have been offside. Here is Clemens to throw lots of times, zips it downfield incomplete. At the 48 yard line, Matsuzaki had a chance at it. But he couldn't hold on to it, so it's incomplete. Tommy Jones and Lance Thomas in the 
play defensively, so it'll be a bunting down. As you look at the conference standings right now, BYU with a slight edge, Wyoming, San Diego State, they're the three undefeated teams, and then Fresno State still in the running. Colorado State was beating Utah in Salt Lake City when we last heard today. From the 21-yard line, Boardman will punt for BYU. He's having a good year kicking the ball. For being his first year as a punting kick. Certainly is. Gets the kick away and hits it. All the way down to the field and kicks it out in the top and corner at about the three-yard line. What a kick for BYU by Alan Boardman, who's number three of the NCAA in punting, averaging 43 yards, and that was a great one. He's only a freshman. It was a nice chicken. It was a nice angle to get it out of bounds. Many times uh, they get it to kick it long, but it goes in the end zone. But it looked like it had eyes and went right for the corner of the end zone. Look at the Cougar bounce on that. Boy, Gordon booting it out about the three-yard line. Fresno State will take over first and ten then. He had his mark down at the two-yard line. First and ten from the two. The crowd noise will help him in that part of the stadium also. That's the noisiest part of the stadium. Gill for a quarterback. He gives it a running play to the right side. Up over the five to about the six-yard line. Good delayed handoff, and carrying was Ron Rivers, one of their great running backs, tackled by Corey Cook and Nathan Hall. Cook getting a start today. There is Trent Dilfer, a junior, may go pro next year. There's a lot of talk about that. They're pushing him for the Heisman early in the year, and uh, he has a lot of respect. Along the line, Collins, Cold Iron, James Hartman, and Hall. They have some veterans on this team. They're a great uh, offensive team. Arnold's a good tight end. Rivers, Mexico, the fullback. And they have a second down and five. And again, they will run it, and this time stop right at the line of scrimmage. There'll be no gain this time. That was a good job by the defensive line. They came off the ball, they took the inside gap, had good penetration. I think it was Lenny Gomes that came up with the play, but uh, basically it was a tackle for a loss, and that's important down in that area of the field. Ron Rivers, the ball carrier again. Starters for the Cougars up front. Gomes, the nose guard, made that last uh, hit. Travis Hall had a great game last week, played very well against Notre Dame. Then you've got Hall, Muirbrook, and Hergit. Hergit uh, does not practice much this week. He's got a stinger, and the deep man, Cook, getting a start for the first time today. And here is Dilfer, a little swing pass. It's caught out on the flat, and he slips and goes down back at the four-yard line. And so the Cougar defense stops him the first time and will force a punt. A little swing pass to the right side. And covering was Nathan Hall for BYU. Patrick Mitchell was right there, too. That was an important defensive series for BYU to get the momentum, keep them down in their end of the field, and it should give the offense really good uh, field possession for the second offensive drive. Daigle was the one they threw it to that time. He didn't get much, so now they will punt. Mahoney is the kicker. BYU with one man back deep. Kicking from the end zone, got it away. It'll come down near the 45-yard line. Fumbled there by Johnston, but I think he dropped on it himself. And the Cougars will have the ball in very good field position, following a great punt by Boardman and a good defensive stand. That sun was probably bright coming into his eyes. It looked like it was coming right into him. There was a defensive man who uh, was putting pressure on him also, but uh, he was able to come up with the ball, and they got good field position. There is a break. There's no score. We're in the first quarter of the game. time in this game and the line of scrimmage now is the Fresno State 44 yard line with a first down Steve Clements quarterbacking line with a first down Steve Clements quarterbacking and it's an inside running play this is Jamal Willis there he goes down to the 30 down to the 27 yard line Jamal Willis with a fine run for the Cougars and a first down run. Lance Thomas and James Burton combined to pull him down. They run the counter play and this time he was able to break through the line of scrimmage and when he gets in the open field it looks like Jamal of last year. He was running hard, running with a lot of power and got the extra yards. That was an excellent offensive play. Watch the blocking by the line. They kick it out, breaking free to the secondary and then he's on his way. He had rushed for 168 yards thus far coming into this game and that was a good run for a first down for BYU on the 27 yard line as Salioni the tight end shifts to the left side Clements pitches to the left side that's Jamal Willis trying to turn the corner can't he'll lose yardage this time he's dropped back at the 30 
Nice defensive play by the Fresno State team, led by Tommy Jones and Chris Rockwell. Looks like they worked on that sweep this week. As soon as that ball was uh, pitched outside, they were going for the sideline, and the guard wasn't able to hook the defensive end, and uh, they got pressure, and nothing could happen. Scars from around the nation. Ohio State, one of the best teams in the country with a good one. Alabama struggled last week. Tough uh, intersectional game. BYU with a second down and 13 call from the 30-yard line off Fresno State. And again, they'll run it, but it's Kalen Hall on that drop play, and he's dropped for another loss for about three. So the Cougars trying to establish the running game. Demetrius Edwards and Brad Bell combined to make the hit. Looks like it was a little mix-up in the blocking that time. Other scores, Miami will be playing later tonight. And Arizona, one of the great uh, teams in the country, they're still scoreless. Tennessee does not play this week. They had a good game last week. Florida also has the week off. BYU with a third down and 16 call then. After fine field position, now they're stopped uh, on the first two plays and from the shotgun for the first time. Chief Clements, we may have a, there is a flag down. I think that, uh, well, Fresno State jumped, but were they drawn? Demetrius Edwards I think jumped. the tight end left a little bit early, too, so it might be offsetting or on BYU. Fresno State applauding. It must be on the Cougars. Dead ball. Ball start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Well, you start off first and ten on the opponent, on your opponent's 27. Now you face third down and 21. Back on the, what, the 30... Those mistakes really hurt. I think you noticed up top that the tight end takes off before the ball is snapped, and that's what the penalty was. So the Cougars third and long yardage. From the Fresno State 38-yard line. Again, the shotgun line. Clements with the ball, looking it over. Here's his pass downfield. It's complete, and it'll be close to enough for the first down. It's complete to Eric Graves down at the 17-yard line, and I think they have the first down. Covered by Tommy Jones for Drake. He's now caught a pass in 32 consecutive games. I'm not sure he's covered up there. I think Fresno State blew the coverage because he was wide open. All Steve had to do was get him the ball out there, and he was free for uh, first down. If he could have kept his feet, he might have scored on that. It is his pattern. He goes to the inside here, breaks it out, and there's no one there. I'm sure they think they got help, and there's no one there. The safety reacts back out, but uh, he wasn't covering him. First and 10, Brigham Young on the Fresno 16-yard line. No score early in the first quarter of the game. Willis, the long setback. Clements gives to Willis. Into the middle. No hole whatsoever. They will gain nothing this time. They ran the ball well last year against Fresno State, but did a lot of it late in the game. Edwards and uh, Preisendorf are the tacklers. Looks like the linebackers are a little bit more active. They're reacting to those inside plays and coming off the rocks and actually stopping the running game inside. So uh, Cougars going to have to stay with the box a little bit longer to make this go. Cougars have been very successful in the red zone this year, scoring 20 out of 25 times. Here they have a second down and nine after a one-yard gain. And they'll go from the shotgun alignment, putting Willis out in the slot on the right side. Now Clements Chink, there's a snap. It's fumbled. It's picked up by uh, BYU by Kaden Hall. Was that a design play? I think it was. That's a variation of what they did last week of uh, snapping it directly to the fullback. So he can be in motion. The quarterback can be in motion. So he signaled to the receiver as the ball is snapped. Well, I Clements, think Clements moved out. See, as if he's signaling a play. This is a planned play. But uh, Kalen doesn't get the ball, or it might have worked. As it is, on a trick play, they lose a couple of yards, so they have third and 11. Papazian and Bell were not fooled. They make the stop. Once in a while, you trick yourself when you go in those plays, Jay. Here's a third down call for the Cougars then. Run it straight back to pass. Good protection, throw incomplete. He overthrew Doman down at the three-yard line, and he was open, too. Tommy Jones covered. So the Cougars will go to the field goal unit. Here you see, he's signaling just as the 
ball is snapped. And theoretically, that works, but they, they didn't get the snap, and they didn't have a chance to work. Well, the Cougars will see if they can get three points out of it. Joe Herrick is five out of eight kicking field goals as long as 40 yards. This is from the 25, so it's a 35-yard attempt. No score. We're in the first quarter of the game. BYU and Fresno State. Here is the kick. And it is waiting to see. It's good. The officials have to look at each other, and then the hands go up and they say good. So Herrick kicks the field goal his sixth of the season in nine attempts. And Brigham Young University gets the first score of the game to lead 3 to nothing with 6.16 to go in the first quarter. It was close. It was close, but he made it. So there's a break in the action with BYU ahead, 3 to nothing. is David Dunn, who's a junior from San Diego. See, averages about 25 yards a return. They line up with uh, three men up near the 18-yard line, and Dunn is back at the goal line, the only man back that deep. I think Coach Edwards is happy to get three points off of that, but that's not enough playing against Fresno State. I think they're averaging over 30 points per game, so he would have loved to have a touchdown, but he would have settled for the three at this point. The Cougars scoring, they've now scored in 231 consecutive games which is the best streak in the nation among Division I colleges. Maybe the best streak in the country among any kind of football team. The fans are getting full now, Jake. And yeah, they're filling in, still some arriving. We're going to have a good crowd here on the first day of the deer hunt. And it's the BYU homecoming. Here's Herrick to kick off. Drives this one high and deep. It'll go into the end zone. There'll be no return. And it's the BYU homecoming. Here's Herrick to kick off. Drives this one high and deep. It'll go into the end zone. There'll be no return. As Dunn went over and fielded it near the east sidelines, it's a touchback. It'll come out to the 20-yard line. And the Bulldogs will run their offense for the second time today, trading right now by a score of 3 to nothing. And again, you'll see other scorers from around the country. No score in that game. Try and follow these uh, the WAC games as we can. Utah was trailing. Air Force was leading. Games Air Force over Citadel 14-0 in the second period. That's a non-conference game. And Utah was down the second period 21-10 to Colorado State. Here's Dilfer out of the I formation. First and 10 from the 20. And he's back to pass for the first time. Throws it in the middle of the field. It's incomplete at the 40-yard line. He led the intended receiver just a little bit too much. That's Charlie Jones. Lenny Gomes put pressure up front along with Travis Hall for BYU. Pretty well-designed pattern, though. It was play-action fake. It looked like the guy was wide open coming across the middle. He just threw a little bit behind him. Good speed to the outside. Comes across the middle. And bumps. <laughs> Not a bad Mitchell. defensive play by Patrick Mitchell. Threw him off stride a little bit. Second down and 10 from the 20 for the Bulldogs. The Cougars ahead 3 to nothing. Gilfer with a delayed handoff. Hit right at the line of scrimmage and might have got a yard. That was the draw. You know, in many ways, I think it was Rivers carrying at that time. It was Rivers. In many ways, it's like watching uh, a mirror image here, the two teams and their offenses. Lenny Gomes, the tackler. They have a lot of respect for each other, and they're just kind of feeling each other out right now. They're, neither one of them's going to come out and just wing the ball, and so they're uh, running some draws and, and throwing the ball short, and uh, they'll get going before long, but uh, BYU's defense is playing really well right now. Susan had only two teams in the country in the last 10 years and had a better home winning record. Third down and nine for Fresno State from their own 21-yard line. Gilfer audibilizing, using hand signals to change the play. Split back this time. He's straight back to throw. Chased out of the pocket and pulled out from behind. Wait a minute. Had the play been stopped? It may have been. It may have been. There's a flag down. Randy Brock got through and got to him. Might have been a delay of game. I think that uh, probably will be the call. 
They took a long time to get the play out of the way. It's the offense. Five-yard penalty. Third down. That is a delay of game. Five-yard penalty against the Bulldogs. Both these teams are four and two overall on the season. BYU's four and zero on the whack over, and Fresno State two and one. So Dilfer will have a third and 14 call now from his own 16-yard line. Smart quarterback. He was trying to get an audible. He just ran out of time, but he saw what the BYU's defense was trying to do against him. Okay, he's up over the ball now. Again, the split backs. Back to throw. Does throw. Incomplete. He overthrew his intended receiver again. And again, it's Charlie Jones. Dick Tarleton covering, but he just overthrew it. BYU's doing a good job of mixing them up, too. They're showing blitz, and then they're backing off, and I think it's confusing both the quarterbacks and the receivers just a little bit, and he's upset that the receiver didn't get open on that one. You can see him talking to the receiver. <laughs> see that reaction? I thought it was. That's what they tell the quarterbacks, yeah. Dave. Derek Mahoney putting. Averages 36.5 yards a punt. He's a senior. Fountain Valley, California. He'll kick from the two-yard line. Here's the punt. Johnston. BYU takes it at the 45, back to the 50, flags go down as he's knocked out of bounds at the 50-yard line. Looks like they got a clipping penalty again. Uh, those really hurt, when, especially when you get good field position like they have right here. Uh, it's, I think it's 15 yards from the spot, and they'll have to give up about 25 yards on this uh, penalty. Rotello made the tackle. The flag's down at the 45-yard line, as the officials confer. Cougars would have had the ball at midfield. It's that block in the middle of the back, which Some seems to be such a common call nowadays. Sometimes if it's going to be close, you, you wish you just tell your uh, offensive guys, just, just let them go. BYU football coach Lavelle Edwards looking for his 196th coaching victory today. Ten-yard penalty, spot of the foul. First down, this way, Time out. Okay, you heard the call. It's a ten-yard penalty. There will be, it will be down to the 35-yard line for the Cougars. And I think, is there a timeout of the field? We're waiting to see. We do have a bit of wind kicking up right now. 3 to nothing. BYU leading with five minutes to go in the first quarter. There is a break in the action. We'll be back after this. BYU at Fresno State, the Bulldogs... BYU at Fresno State, the Bulldogs lead the series, three wins to two. The Cougars are favored in this game from six to nine points, and BYU has an eight-game whack winning streak. As the Cougars come up over the ball now, first attempt in their own 35, and Anderson wide to the left, Freeman back wide to the left. Steve Clements quarterbacking for BYU this game, John Walsh injured. Running play right up the middle, not too much game. Here is Kalen Hall, and he is to about the 38-yard line. So BYU still running the ball. Brad Bell and Steve Pompey making the tackle. These are linebackers doing a good job. As soon as he's free up the crowd walking inside, he's stepping up. And that's what they didn't do last year, but they're doing a lot better job of uh, clogging up the inside on the running attack from BYU. A gain of a little over a yard. Call it second and nine for BYU. 
just over the 31-yard line. Again, three men wide to the left for the Cougars. All the lone setback. Thomas looking to pass, does pass, and it's incomplete. Intended for Drage, but he threw it in front of him. Bring up a third down call. Fresno State changed their defense a little bit that time. They went to a nose guard and a defensive tackle over both guards and brought a linebacker. They wanted to put a little bit of pressure. It was the right idea. They had a quick pass call, but uh, he underthrew it just a little bit. But the concept was good as throwing the ball quick and throwing it short. Coverage is by Rio Wells, who's only a freshman. Third down to nine for BYU. Who was ahead? 3-0. And from the shotgun, Steve Clements, quarterback for BYU. He's got the ball, looking to throw, does throw, into the Tommy Jones to knock the ball down. Cooper stopped with a little bit of interference out there. Graves, the young man for the pass was intended. BYU did a punting situation. That was the second time that they came close to getting uh, pass interference. The, the call didn't go with them, but, uh, but it looked really close. He had his hand in his back. Well, here's Borg with the punt from his own 21-yard line. 3-0 with 4.18 to go in the first quarter. Alan Borg the freshman out of Kanab, Utah. Has the snap now. And again gets away a good booming spiral. That'll go back all the way to the 12 yard line. It's taken there by Seaford. Seaford comes in the middle of the field. Fumbles the football. Fumbles the ball and I think Kevin Young has it. Now a flag goes down. And it'll have nothing to do with the recovery. It'll be action afterwards coming up to the ball for BYU as a boss. It is Rob Forrest comes up with the ball, was knocked away by Andrew Nash for the Cougars. There's also a flag down. He's taking the ball upfield. He slips just a little bit. He starts out, but as he gets hit right there, the ball pops out. And Rob Morris comes up with the ball. That's an exciting day for a freshman to... just goes flying. That's something the BYU's needed as a turnover. They haven't had a lot of them this year, and uh, Fresno State hasn't turned the ball over a lot of times. Looks like they had a penalty after the play for uh, celebrating or getting in a fight or something. There's a personal foul. So the Cougars, again, would have had the ball down around the 30. They have it at the Fresno State 47-yard line as a result of the penalty. But they're in pretty good field position now, leading 3-0 and a first down call. First and ten. Clements quarterback in two setbacks. Takes the run. Here's the reverse. With Anderson. Anderson tries to get wide to the outside, but he's pulled down back at the 50-yard line. Nice defensive play that time for the Bulldogs. And the uh, Omar Stockmire is only a freshman. Stayed right with Tyler. Looked like that time they tried to pitch the ball rather than hand it and they give the defensive back the chance to see what was happening and as a result they were able to react and make the play. So the Cougars lose yardage again. Second down and 13. They're back at the 50-yard line. 3-0 Brigham Young with three and a half to go in the first quarter. Line of scrimmage the 50-yard line right now. Clements back to throw. Steps up, flips it over the middle. It's caught. It's caught by Jamal Willis, and he's all the way to the 40-yard line. Just a little clip into the middle of the field. It'll be good for about 10 yards. Lance Thomas and Chris Peters tackle him, which will make it third and three. This is a nice throw. He's looking downfield. His protection starts to break down just a little bit, and he just flicks it off to the running back. Uh, that's what the good quarterbacks will do is throw it underneath. Third down and three yards to go for a first down for Brigham Young. They're on the Fresno State 40-yard line. Three nothing. You would have expected a lot of points in this game. So far, just three here in the first quarter. A field goal for the Cougars. Cougars need three yards for a first down. Clements going to throw for it. Dancing around. Here's the pass. And he underthrew the would-be receiver. No, he got it. Drake came back and got it. A great catch by Drake. And that's a first down throw. 
Tommy Jones on the coverage. Good play by Eric Gray. That was a great job. Uh, Eric saw that the ball was going to be thrown under down, underneath, and he uh, gets down with his hands on the ground and lets the ball come in. Once again, Steve's looking downfield, waiting for patterns to develop. He sees Eric open for the first down. Watch how Eric gets down on it. Just make sure he's got the first down. He's done that twice today. Nice play by Drage. He's now caught 148 passes in his career. First and 10, Brigham Young on the Fresno 33. Matsuzaki in motion to the right side. They'll run it right up the middle. Kalen Hall has three yards. Tackled by Ron uh, Pavasian. Now two minutes to go in the first quarter. We mentioned earlier, Dre just got a pass in 32 consecutive games. Apple the line did a good job of coming off that time. It looked like uh, the linebacker got in behind, but they are blowing people off the line as soon as they feel. So eventually this running, running game will get going. Second down and seven for the Cougars on the Fresno 31-yard line. BYU has a lineman pull out and start a sweep to the right side before the ball is snapped. Is that Jim Edwards? Yes, it is. Sometimes with a new quarterback, that happens. The voice is a little bit different. The inflection is a little bit different. Of course, the, the offensive line is trying to get the jump on the ball, and uh, they lead before the snap count. Second down. So BYU struggling a bit here early in the game, just like they're just a little bit out of sync. But not with it, and yet they are leading 3-0. Here we see the left guard taking on for the snap count. We should have handed him the ball. We might have had a play, Jay. <laughs> That's a good play. He's quick enough. He can do it. Edwards, the junior, out of Boise, Idaho. So BYU with a second down now at about 13. Lewis, the tight end, slowly in motion. Clements back to pass. He came from behind, but he gets it off, and it's caught by Kevin Hall. Boy, Clements flipped that away just as he was tackled, and Hall caught it. He's to the 32-yard line. Not a big gainer, but uh, saved the loss. Papasian put the pressure up front. He's the one that grabbed uh, Clements first of all. Brigham Young will have a third down call coming. The Wafers a flag down. They're talking to the Cougar players about it. They're in the huddle. The Fresno players are applauding. Again, it's illegal procedure on BYU. Looks like they had a little mix-up because someone came from the outside and he was unblocked. Probably when the tight end went in motion, they didn't have six men on the line of scrimmage, but there's nobody to block that guy from the outside, so there had to be a mix-up. Well, this has happened about three times to BYU. As they establish the ball in good field position, then through mistakes, penalties, they wind up in uh, long yardage situations. And right now, they're in the second down. Right? If they accept the penalty. There's no decline. Yeah, they so decline the penalty. They'd rather take the down. So it's third and nine for BYU then on the Fresno 33-yard line. Matsuzaki comes wide to the right. Anderson's wide to the left. Split back to BYU. Third and nine for the Cougars. Drop the shotgun. He comes looking things over. Has to run to his left. The officials say he went down and went out at the 29-yard line. He tried to sprint and dive over the marker, but he stepped out of bounds first. Chris Rockwell first of all out of bounds on that side. That was a good effort by Steve. Uh, they split their defense. It looks like once again, coming from three up the middle, forces him out of the pocket. I'm sure that's what Preston wanted to do. Fourth down for BYU, six for a first down. And the field goal kicker is in again. Joe Herrick, he'll kick from the 30, well, about the 36-yard line, a 46-yard attempt. His long field goal of the year won a game. On the Hawaii game, that was a 40-yarder. He has one field goal in this game. It's down. Here's the kick. And it has the distance. Oh, it hit the crossbar. It hit the upright and comes back onto the field. Hit the upright. And is back onto the field, so it is no good. And Fresno State survives this time, but it's still 3-0 with 49 seconds to go in the first quarter of the game. BYU leading. Well, the Cougars have had that happen the other way a couple times this year to help them win. Maybe the law of average is by up on both against New Mexico and against Hawaii. Fresno State, uh, they haven't done anything offensively so far in this game. They have the ball now, first and ten. 
from their own 29-yard line then as Trent Dilker takes over at quarterback. Split backs. Takes the handoff. Now we'll have to run it. And his tackle to the 30. He wanted to hand it off, but the running back went back, uh, past him before he could get the ball to it. And Randy Brock is there to uh, deliver the hit and knock him down. That was a good effort. The defensive guys are reacting to the ball, reacting to the quarterback, and making things happen. And uh, Fresno State hasn't got their offensive problems ironed out yet. Two-yard gain. It is second and eight. That was a real good effort by Travis Hall, though. He kept going after the quarterback and flushed him out of the pocket. Line of scrimmage at 31 yard line right now. Dilfer hands off in the middle. Again, not much gain. A couple up the middle. I think it is Rivers carrying, and Lenny Gold wraps him up. Both teams trying to establish something uh, running wise in this game early. Rivers is a senior out of San Bernardino. Good runner, good blocker. He rushed for 728 yards, nine touchdowns. That was a good job by Lenny Gomes. He's one of the captains, and he has a lot of pride and wants to get the defense pumped up and doing their job. Well, that ends the first quarter of the football game. After one quarter of play, Brigham Young University has the lead over Fresno State by a score of three to nothing on a field goal by Joe Hurd. at the 46-yard uh, line. There's the first big gainer of the game for Fresno State. Big Charlton covering. That was a nice timing pattern. He gets back and gets set, and it's just a quick out. They throw uh, hundreds of those in practice, and the timing was very good for the first down. First and 10 on Fresno State from, the B, from their own 46. First quarter stats in the game. Not a lot of running yards for either team. Here's another running play. That's Rivers, and they swarm all over it. At the 45-yard line, he'll be dropped for a loss of about a yard this time. And leading the way was Travis Hall. It was a good job of uh, the defense team tackling. He got away from a couple of tacklers, but uh, they were able to bring him down. As we look in on some of the other scores around the country. Right now, Fresno State will have second at 11 from their own 45-yard line. Coach Jim Sweeney from Fresno State. In his 29th year as a head coach, he's won 185 games. He's won 128 of them at Fresno State. Second down call for the Bulldogs with three men wide to the right. Dilfer back to pass. Throws into the middle of the field and completes it. Completes it down to the 30. Gets away to the 20. Down to the 10. It'll be a touchdown. Touchdown for Fresno State to Seaford, who was wide open when he caught it and then ran away from the football team. And the Bulldogs grab a 63 lead on a touchdown pass from Dilfer, his 14th of the year. Looked like they were in zone coverage that time, and he just found a hole in the zone, and then, of course, he has good speed to get in the end zone, but it looked like it was just a mistake in coverage. Quarterback gets back, he gets set, finds the open receiver, just splits the seam, and then he's off to the races. That's Seaford's second TD reception of the season, and Fresno State has the lead now by a score of 6-3, to three, as Mahoney will try to kick the extra point. His kick is good. Mahoney on the season for kicking extra points is now 24 out of 27. And he only needs, now he needs 13 points to break the school career scoring record. 7-3, Fresno State on top. At 17-3, we're a minute into the second quarter of the game. Anderson and Christensen back deep for BYU. Here's Mahoney's kick. 
It'll come down. It's, did he catch it out of bounds? It goes out of bounds. The flag goes down, which means the kick was out of bounds. Now the officials must confirm and make sure it was the kick that went out, not the BYU player that took it out. BYU would have the option of taking the ball upfield at the 35-yard line. Illegal procedure, kick out of bounds, gets team. Illegal procedure, kicking it out of bounds. Washington State was ahead there. As we follow scores for nomination, working with PBC here to talk about this game today. So the Cougars will elect to take the ball at their own 35-yard line rather than have them kick it again. And we'll see if they can get the offense moving. They have only a field goal to show for. They've been down close enough twice. And one field goal hit the upright. Came back no good. It's important to get the offense going now because with Fresno State, you're, you're sitting on a powder keg, so you uh, you need to score some points because you know they're going to. Steve Clements quarterbacking. Two men to the right, one to the left, one setback. Wyoming out in front of Hawaii, 20 to 3. Has a deflected pass at the line of scrimmage, which is incomplete. So Clements throwing on first down is deflected at the line of scrimmage. To bring up second and 10. T.C. Wolfgram tipped that ball at the line of scrimmage. That's pretty good protection, but on a 50 pass or a short pass, the offensive linemen have to knock those hands down and knock them down. Not much time in the last drive. 71 yards, a minute 46. It happened quickly. Second and 10, BYU from their own 35. One setback again. Clements gives to that setback. It's Caden Hall. Bouncing to the outside. There's a flag down. Uses his blockers. He's got an eight-yard run that time. Knocked out of bounds. But there was a flag down in the interior. Scott Meyer and Burton, the tacklers. Cougars have been hurt in this game by penalties, procedure penalties. Colorado State now ahead of Utah 21-17 at halftime. Holding the call against BYU. So the BYU team continues to hurt themselves with penalties in this game. That was a good run. Air Force way ahead of the Citadel. Military schools going after each other. BYU coach Lavelle Edwards. Holding. Offense. 10-yard penalty. Spot a foul. Second down. 10-yard penalty on the Cougars. Puts it back on the 30-yard line. And we have repeat down, so it is 2nd and 15 for BYU. Coach Edwards gets really frustrated with these penalties, especially this late in the, uh, the season. As he makes his break to the outside, uh, they get one of the linemen for holding inside. I'm not sure who they call it. Cougar struggling, trying to get something going offensively. Trading now 7-3. to three. Here's Clemens to pass on 2nd down. Does throw. Incomplete. Jennifer Tyner Anderson backed it a little too high. He went off his hand. It's an incomplete pass. Tommy Jones on the coverage. Once again, timing as he releases the ball and the ball's in the air. It looked like the title was coming back to the ball and it just bounced out of his hands. But they got to complete some of those and start moving the ball to get uh, field position and some points. Third down call coming. Third and 15 for Brigham Young, and they'll be forced to punt it again. Fresno State ahead, 7-3, and they scored, made it look easy the last time. One setback, Jamal Willis. Clements sprinting out to the left, looking down here. He's going to run. He's up to the 35, knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. That's not enough for the first down. So just sprint out to the left. Good gainer, but not enough for a first down. Over. Ball. I think that was the drive play. The back seals the corner. And I'm sure if the receiver's not wide open, Steve has the option to take off and run. That'll work for him. They just had 2-4 to go. If they'd only had 10 yards, they'd have been okay on that one, Jake. You know, Watson and Wells tackled it. They, uh, with 15, it was actually a 12-yard gain, but not enough. So Boardman will be asked to kick it out of there from his own 27-yard line. One man back deep at the 20, and Boardman has kicked well in the game so far. Here's the snap, he's got it, and the kick, very high, little bounce, takes a cougar bounce, back to the 12-yard line, and down right away at the 14-yard line, here's Charlie Jones, good coverage by the BYU punt team, and a good punt. As 
that's been a factor in this game. Gordon has kept them in the hole. And right now it is Fresno State 7, Brigham Young University 3. We have just under 13 minutes to play in the first half. consecutive passes without an interception. That was a good pass. It was just a short pass, and Nathan Hall has a chance to make the tackle. Uh, they like the receiver here. They get it underneath. Nathan's in pretty good position right here. Just a good job of running. Gets the extra yardage. Corey Cook comes up and makes the tackle. First and 10 from the 31-yard line. They'll run up this time. Got away from one man into the 35 to the 37 yard line. Carrying was Ron Rivers. By the way, B. White, there's a flag down. By the way, uh, the Cougars, Todd Bergen, has re injured his shoulder with a stinger type injury, and they say he'll be out the rest of the game. Hall and Cook, the tacklers in the last one, there is a flag down. We can see uh, Fresno State scoring in the past. They, uh, they put points up on the board. This penalty will be against the Bulldogs. It was a holding again. I think it was on the blocker that was blocking Randy Brock. It looked like he tackled him just as the running back went to make the cut. Well, uh, he had tackled Randy Brock. Rivers is the all-time the all-time leading rusher at Fresno State. And he's given only three years. I think he's got over 100 yards in all the two games this year, so they have a lot of confidence. <laughs> Penalty is marked out, so it is first and 20 for the Bulldogs from their own 21-yard line. He's put two men to the left, one to the right, and on formation. Takes the handoff back to Crow Crows, and it is incomplete. Off the shoulder of the intended receiver. And it was Charlie Jones. Even the shoulder bounced high. Patrick Mitchell was right there. We'll have second and 20. Play action pass again, and those uh, linebackers are drilling the running backs, and that was a pretty good throw, but Patrick Mitchell would, did a good job of covering. Early in the second period of this game, 12 minutes and 6 seconds to go in quarter number 2. As Fresno State has the ball in their own 21 with a second down call coming. Trent Dilfer, one of the best quarterbacks in the country. Only junior. High formation. Takes a running play. He's back to throw again. Fires it way downfield and it is caught. Caught. All the way to the 20. All the way to the 15. All the way to the 10. Touchdown. What a pass from Dilfer to Seaver. But there's a flag down back at the 14 yard line. Great throw. And great run after he got it. Back to the kitchen. Probably a bomb play from State. What a break for BYU. Sometimes that's the thing that springs them is that uh, offensive holding that gives them the extra second to throw the football. Well, we almost, we were facing a 14 to 3 score. It stays 7 to 3. Just a post pattern. Great throw. Stretches out for it and then he turns on the speed. And Patrick's one of the fastest individuals that BYU has. So, uh, they do have some speed, Jake. So, Seabrun is a senior out of Sacramento. He has 4.4 speed. I think they're going to call holding up to the top of the screen. On the right, yeah, he had him by the jersey. Well, it's a good legitimate call. Not that they're not all that way, of course. <laughs> when you tear away jerseys, you've got to come in after the sack. That puts it back on the seven-yard line. So it is second down and 32 yards to go for a first down. 
As the penalty, the hold the promised spot of the foul really puts him in the hole. 7-3, Fresno State leading early in the game. Gilchrist straight back to throw. The rush is on. Throws it way high and way downfield. And it is incomplete. A flag goes down. Mazzotti covering. Mazzotta covering for BYU. And I think they're going to call the Cougars with pass interference, which would give them the first down. Charlton goes down there, too, for BYU. Now we've got, uh, again, checking with the officials. I think we've got a few flags today. I hope we don't have too much of that in the game. But already it's been a big factor in this game. Pass interference. Defense. 15-yard penalty. First down. That's an automatic first down after the 15-yard penalty. So after facing second and 32, it becomes a first down. He has good speed. He lays the ball up here. You have to check and see if there's contact before the ball comes down. The key to the whole thing is looking back for the ball on that because the timing was pretty good. It's just where the ball was thrown and whether it was contact before the ball came down. The official is right there. Dropped the flag immediately. So it's a first half for Fresno State on their own 21-yard line. 7-3, the Bulldogs lead. So they had a touchdown call back because of a holding penalty. They get a pass to the first call to get the first down. That's a long yardage. And they'll run it on first down. And they'll gain to the 25-yard line. And up to the right side to Anthony Daigle, a senior from Benicia, California. Corey Cook and Ted Dawson uh, hitting for BYU. We've done a good job so far of cutting off the running game. Uh, I'm sure this is a big play for uh, this game for Ted Dawson being a senior in his last homecoming. But uh, we're doing a good job of not letting them establish the running game. So if they can tighten up on the pass, uh, they'll continue to have a great defensive game. Daigle is tied to the career lead in rushing TDs and total TDs. And Fresno State, he just needs one to break those records. Second down and six for the Bulldogs for the 25-yard line. Still with the football. Gilford hit as he throws it. The Rocky pass, and it is with the out-of-bounds when he got it. Well, he didn't catch it. Instead of the Rydens, Rydens right in front of the Fresno bench, went up for it. Came down out-of-bounds, but didn't uh, catch it. Casey Mazzotta and Vic Charlton there for BYU. It's a bootleg. He's trying to get outside. Good play action fake. It's Randy uh, Brock right on top of him. And he does have pressure. He gets hit just as he throws the ball. And that was a that was a good job by Randy Brock. Receiver has a shot at this. He's right on this. He knows where the sideline is. Goes up. That's a close one. But he didn't come up with the ball. That was a good defensive effort by BYU. Third down and six for the Bulldogs. Well, he's making some Completes at the middle of the field, down at the 40-yard line. Cook covering for BYU. The pass complete to David Dunn. That's enough for the first down. Sliding in from the left side. That was a well, well thrown ball. It looked like they had pretty good pressure up front, but it was a good combination between the quarterback and the right see But that uh, quick post is a hard pattern to cover. First down for the Bulldogs on their own 39. He started to back inside the 10. Back inside the 14, then they were penalized, which put him back even further. First down call for Fresno State on their own 39. Wilfer obliging. From the eye, he puts it back over in the slot instead. Back to pass, passes to that back. That's Rivers, who spins away from one man and hit from behind and knocked down at the feet of 48-yard line by Pitts. That'll be another first down for Fresno State. Corey Cook and Shea Nurgur missing tackles. When they throw that ball underneath, it's very important that the defensive uh, backs and defensive players square up. It's just the ball out in the flat. A couple of shots here to make the tackle. Here's the first one and misses. Then he comes off. Shea misses. Greg Pitts actually comes and makes the tackle for him. First and ten, Fresno State on the BYU 49-yard line. Had the ball for a long time. Running play to Rivers on the inside. Great big hole into the secondary. All the way to the Cougar 38-yard line. So it'll be another first down, I do believe, on a nice run by Rivers of about 11 yards. Frank Christians in the tackle. Keeping BYU off balance here. They've been throwing a little play-action pass, and finally they gave it to the running back, and BYU was 2-4 two up, two, up field, trying to get the pass rush, and uh, he broke through the middle for a nice gainer. The Bulldogs with a nice drive of the way right now. 
They have a first down on the Cougar 37 yard line. They lead BYU by a score of 7 to 3. One of the uh, finest offensive teams in the nation. Number four in the nation back in total offense. Gilford out of the eye. Takes the handoff back to pass into the middle of the field and it's incomplete this time. Back to pass. Catchable ball, so there is no foul. BYU coaches were upset to start with. There's not been much being said from the Fresno sideline, so I guess they agree with it. The ball is way overthrown. And so that was a good call. It's nice to see the officials go back on a call once in a while, but uh, we have had lots of flags about every other play, Jake. And we have a second and ten call right now for the Fresno State Bulldogs from the BYU 37-yard line. Trent Gilford, five quarterback, is getting in the groove. Here's the handoff in the middle. BYU right on top of it. A new shot is on this one. The draw play does not work. That's the work either way today. Ron Rivers hit by uh, Corey Cook and Ted Dawson. I think the quarterback got a little bit of confused. They realigned in a double barrel, bringing both linebackers up on the line of scrimmage, and he thought they were going to uh, back out, and they didn't, and they brought him, and there's no place to go on the draw when that happens. Which brings up a third and 12 for Fresno State. Now back on the Cougar 40-yard line. Nine minutes left to play in the first half of this game. Seven to three the score. It's complete to the 25-yard line, which would be enough for the first down. Completed at that time to Winan, uh, or to Seaford. Big child in covering, but it's a first down throw. Once again, that was a good timing pattern. They roll him out just a little bit so he can see his receivers. He finds the open receiver and throws it for the first down. First and 10, Fresno State on the Brigham Young 26. A time-consuming, yardage-gaining drive. Started uh, back inside the 10. They're now down to the BYU 26-yard line where they have a first down. And they lead 7-3. to three. They've taken a lot of time off the clock here in this period. Gilfer gives to uh, Rivers. Slices through to about the 21-yard line. Ron Rivers, 5'9", 190-pounder. He's a good runner. Looked like Shea Mirbrook had him for a loss, and he just slips through and gets the five yards. That's a sign of a good running back is to make something out of nothing. Gain of four, second and six for the Bulldogs. They're ahead by four points, looking to score again. And as we say, the uh, one thing they've done is they've kept the ball out of the Cougars' hands here for a long stretch of time. Second down play for Fresno State. Put one man way wide to the left, two to the right. Dilfer back to throw. Throws into the middle of the field, and it's incomplete. Threw a little bit too high that time. And it was intended for Titus Weiner. He was hit by Patrick Mitchell the same time he got the ball, and it's incomplete. That was better pressure that time. If the defensive line can get upfield and get in his face, uh, he can't take, his, take the time to throw, and he's less accurate. So it's important that the pass rush continue to go. Well, the Bulldogs will face third down then. They've had a few of these on this drive, Jake. Yeah, they've done very well on third down conversions. They have a third and six right now. As they bring one man wide to the right. Here's the pass downfield, and it is cut for the touchdown. Threw it in the end zone. It's a score. Nice pass that time. And Fresno State gets its second score of the game. That's Charlie Jones, who broke into the corner, and Dilfer put it right there. And it's suddenly 13-3, Fresno State. Frank Christensen covering for BYU. Mahoney will try to kick the extra points. 
He converted earlier, and again, it was a third down play. You got him in the man-to-man -man coverage here because they're coming with the blitz. Just a good post pattern. He gets a step on him and catches it for a touchdown. An excellent throw. He just had a couple steps to the sideline and got the touchdown out of him. The extra, there's a flag down. The extra point is good, but there was a flag down. That was Jones' fifth touchdown reception of the year. Dilton is now thrown for 15 TDs on the season, but we did have a flag down on that extra point. It was offside on BYU, Jay, for the call. So the score stands, and it's 14 for Fresno State at 3, but we're in again for seven and a half minutes to go in the first half of the game. And the Bulldogs getting improved now with their offense. Fred Dilfer leading it downfield on a long scoring drive, and they're now ahead by 11, 14-3. Homecoming for... and Anderson back deep for BYU. That's that last scoring touchdown pass to Charlie Jones. That was a sign of a good offense, though. They got a touchdown call back, and uh, it didn't phase them. They just came back and moved down the field and got another touchdown. And that can happen with an experienced quarterback. Looks like BYU will make a quarterback change, too. Looks like Tom Young will be coming in now for the Cougars. With seven and a half to play in the first half. Here's the Mahoney's kick. It's a long one. It'll come down in the end zone and go on out of the end zone. So it'll be a touchback. Cougars oh. will start on their own 20 then, first and 10. They have only a field goal to show for their uh, offensive work here in the first half of the game. And coming in at quarterback, Tom the junior out of uh, Greenwich, Connecticut. Played quite a bit against Notre Dame and did well last week here. Tom has a lot of confidence in his ability. He did uh, very well in the bowl game, and so this will be his chance to shine also. So younger quarterback, Clement started. John Walsh is injured, and now Young. We'll see if he can move the team. They go on a drop play on first down and get one yard. Kaden Hall for BYU on the drop. Chris Rockwell tackled him. Fresno State's doing a good job of uh, reading that draw trap. That was a big play against them last year, and it looked like they worked on it. Uh, the linebackers are sitting in there and reacting when, uh, when the fullback gets the ball. Cougars undefeated in the WAC 4-0, but they've got their hands full here today. They uh, win to Fresno State to go 3-1 and one of the Cougars 4-1. Here's BYU with second and nine from the 21-yard line. Young fakes the handoff. He's still got the ball. He passes, and it's intercepted. Intercepted and knocked out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Intended for Drage, but it was intercepted by Sam Watson. That's his first interception of the year. And what a quick turnaround. As Young comes in, throws one, and it's picked up. Looks like he'd made up his mind. He was coming out there on the bootleg, and he just threw the ball. He didn't see the defensive back uh, just sitting out there waiting for the ball to come to Drage. I think Fresno State had a personal foul after the, the play happened out of bounds. That's the second interception that uh, Tom has thrown this year. So the BYU defensive unit coming onto the field as we sort things out as far as the dead ball. Personal foul against a defensive team. It's a dead ball foul. It's a 15-yard penalty. First down this way. So it'll be a 15-yard walk-off on a personal foul against the Bulldogs. And the Cougars are in some trouble right now. Here he comes out on the bootleg with the defensive player in his face. He just throws the ball and it takes off on him a little bit. And the defensive back is right there for the interception. Attempted for Grage, who made the tackle after the interception. 25 comes up knees uh, Grage out of bounds, and that's where the first one fell. Line of scrimmage then will be the 35-yard line. So it's first and 10 for the Bulldogs from the Cougar 35 following the turnover in the game. Seven minutes to play in the first half. Fresno ahead 14 to three. Running play on first down. Rivers stopped 
delayed at the line of scrimmage, and then just fell forward for about three yards. Lenny Gomes closing up the middle for BYU. That was a good job at the point of attack. It looked like they had it stopped even for a loss, and then he uh, slid the shoot for you know, three yards. He's a good running back. Fresno State's second year in the WAC. Last year, they tied for the conference championship with Hawaii and BYU. And, of course, they played in the Freedom Bowl and defeated Southern California. That was a big game for them. Second down and eight for the Bulldogs. Towards the end of the first half, here's Gilford back to pass. Gets the pass off, and it's incomplete. Having for BYU was Carlton, the pass intended for Harris. Had it, he was hit hard by Charlton and dropped the ball. That was a good job by Dick Carlton hanging in there and uh, delivering the blow. The ball got there. The good defensive back is playing tough. It'll be third down for the Bulldogs. Eight yards for a first down, but third down's been their down so far this game. That before, yeah. Yeah. You're in trouble when you get them in third down. Third down and eight. For Fresno State on the BYU 33 yard line. Two men wide to the right, one to the left. And split back to the Gilford quarterback. And he's changing the play. And they had the movement. Their, uh, their right tackle backed up before the ball was snapped. Randy Brock there for BYU coming through, but uh, Dan Ham took a couple of steps back. With an audible with the crowd noise, the uh, tackle moved a little bit earlier, especially when you got an individual like Randy Brock coming at you. But uh, we might set a record for penalties this first half. Here you see the right tackle moving before the ball, getting the five yards. So now they have third down and 13 on the BYU 38 yard line. As Coach Swinney walks the sidelines for the Bulldogs. Gilford back to pass, lots of pressure, hits it behind, and this time they are going to get it. The Cougars really came after him, and they dropped him all the way back at a 47 yard line. He's big and strong, but he just couldn't get away. Randy Brock led the defensive charge. That was a good effort, too, because he wanted to throw the ball, because he knew if he could have got the ball away, he probably had an option for a field goal, and now with the sack, they took him out of field goal range. So that was a big defensive series for BYU. The Cougars overcome the turnover, at least as far as giving up any points. And the Bulldogs will go with the punter. Derek Mahoney will punt from his own 39-yard line. 14-3, Fresno State leading. There's a snap. Almost got to it. He got the punt away. Cougars signal fair catch, hoping it went in the end zone. It will not. The Bulldogs are down at around the five-yard line. So Brigham Young University will take over really in the hole right now following that. They almost got to the punt. Very, very close. Yeah, Travis Hall. Travis Hall almost blocked it. We have five and a half minutes to play in the first half of this game. And BYU struggling in the offense. They're down by 11 points. You just keep thinking they're going to get something going, but they keep shooting themselves in the foot. So maybe they'll, they'll uh, put it together. First and 10 Cougars from their own seven-yard line. BYU's a long ways away from the end zone. Now Tom Young quarterbacking. Tom with the ball. They'll run it on first down. Jamal Willis bangs his way forward for a couple of yards, but not much more. Jamal, the junior out of Las Vegas. Eisendorf and Bajan are the tacklers. That's a good effort. They're trying to move out a little bit to give them a little bit of uh, breathing room to be able to throw the football. And uh, that was a good first down play. Got a gain of two. Second down for the BYU team. Game of one make. Second down and nine for the Cougars. On their own eight yard line. Young Payne, he does give the handoff to, to uh, Jamal Willis, who's out over the 15 yard line and very close to the first down. Nice run that time by Jamal Willis. Omar Stoutmeyer tackled him. That was a good effort. He came across on a counter and uh, as he got the hole, he turned on the extra speed. Uh, he beat off the first down. That was a good running play. They need to do more of that. Good effort by Jamal Willis to give the Cougars a first down. And a little bit of breathing room. They're now out to the 17-yard line. Close to the 18-yard line. 
Time left, four and a half minutes in the first half. The BYU make a lot of difference if they can get some points here at the end of the first half. Being the winner of that, they've really been there for down offensively. Nowatsky goes in motion to the right. There's a pitch to the right. That's the ball with us. The ball with us tries to turn the corner to the right, makes it to the 20. Gains about three. Before they pull him down, Brad Bell, the tackler for Fresno State. Fresno State's doing a good job still reacting to that uh, sweep. They bring the receiver in motion. Tim Nowoski gets out there, and as soon as they uh, see the picks, they're reacting to the ball, and they've shut off the sweep pretty good. They used to be a big player. Should be a big play in BYU's offense. Wyoming is ahead of Hawaii, 27-3 at halftime. So those Cowboys keep putting the pressure on. They are undefeated, 3-0 in the whack. And Air Force ahead of Citadel in a non-league game. Here's Tom Young to throw, does throw. Incomplete. And those timing patterns, but when he threw the ball for Doman, Doman was not looking for it. It's an incomplete pass. Tommy Jones covering. He might have thrown that a little bit quicker than he needed to on that uh, particular situation. But it looked like the, the receiver was open if he would have thrown it. Third down play for the Cougars. Third and eight. And of course, for Fresno State, they made a last drive by converting third down plays. Here's a big one for BYU. From their own 20, third and eight. Third and seven. Here's Young. Does that. He intercepted again. Back to the 20, to the 15, down to the 10. He may have scored, though. He's out of bounds back at the six yard line. That's a linebacker who picked that up. Ron Papazian. That is his first interception. And suddenly BYU is really in the hole. As Young is intercepted for the second time in this game and the third time on the season. The volley offense that Fresno State has, if their defense starts coming up with picks and interception, it could be a long day for Brigham Young University. Get some pressure. Looks like there was a little misread on the pattern there. He under, under threw it. He did. He was knocked out of bounds about the six-yard line. So it's first and goal with 3.28 to go. That's the uh, young man who made the interception. No, wait a minute. Is that correct? Yeah, for patient. All right. Ron Papagian. First and goal. They'll run it on first down. Daigle is stopped at the five-yard line. So they don't get too much on the first down. Daigle running it off to the right. Off to his left. BYU's right. Corey Cook and Ted Dawson are the tacklers for BYU. That was a good defensive effort right there to uh, keep the running back in tow. It's important to have a goal line stand. They've, uh, they've done a good job against the run. Fresno State's done a good job of getting the crowd out of this game. They have. That's not involved at all. Three minutes to go in the half. Fresno ahead 14 to 3. And they have the ball second and goal on the BYU five yard line. As they bring two men wide to the right. Still for a quarterback. Still with the football looking to pass. And overthrew a wide open man at the goal line. He overthrew the man at the goal line at a Sal Mejico, Mejico, that is, the pullback, and threw it over his head. That was a blown coverage. Uh, as they ran motion, there was just no one covering him, and uh, the quarterback overthrew, but uh, that was a blown coverage by Brigham Young University. So it'll be third and goal from the five-yard line. Two interceptions deep in BYU territory. The first one, the BYU defense stopped them. They got no points. Here they have third and goal of the five. At the end. Incomplete in the end zone. Trying to get it to Lee Harris. Patrick Mitchell covering, so they'll turn it over to the field goal kicker. Looks like the receiver slipped just as he went to make his break, but that was a good defensive series to come away with just three points on, uh, on that end. So they bring in the field goal kicker. Darren Mahoney is 10 of 13 kicking field goals. He wants to go to the corner, and just as he goes, he, uh, he slips as he goes to the outside and falls over. He's kicking from the 12 yard line, a 22 yard attempt for the field goal. It is good. He kicked it through there. So Mahoney has his 11th field goal of the season in 14 attempts. He also now will be 
only needs 10 points to break the, the Fresno State career scoring record. Who do you go with on quarterback on this series, Jay? I don't know. They've struggled offensively in this game, haven't they? 17 to 3 is the score. Fresno State leading with two and a half minutes to play in the first half. BYU uh, giving up two interceptions deep in their own territory, but only three points out. That's not too bad. They're very fortunate on that, and uh, they just got to get their offense in sync. It looks like that their uh, running pass has just not been uh, what they have the capabilities of doing or what they've done in the past, and so it's very important that they get a drive going here before half, get a series, and maybe like last week, get one in the end zone to get them back in this ball game because the momentum certainly uh, in the state's favor. We may see John Wall. He is over there talking to the doctors and to Coach Edwards. And it's like he's telling him, hey, I can do it. He's got his helmet on. He practiced a couple of times this week, so uh, if they think he can go, I'm sure they'll put him in. Well, the doctors are watching him run sideways and backwards over there. And we might see him come in. With two and a half to go in the first half of the football game, Fresno State leads 17 to 3. Mahoney will kick off. Christensen and Anderson, the deep end for BYU. Here's the kick. High and into the end zone. They won't run it out. Cougars will simply take the touchback and take over on their own 20 yard line. Down by a couple of TDs now. And the only score they have in the game of field goal. It is John Walsh coming in at quarterback for BYU. Great reaction on the crowd. And Coach Walsh rolls up in his face. And sent his injuries to quarterback John Walsh into the game. I think the key to the whole thing is to protect John because John can throw the football and he can cause some problems if they'll give him protection. First and ten from the 20 then. They'll run it on first down. That's Jamal Willis. Jamal breaks into the secondary and back out the state at the 32-yard line. Nice run. Tommy Jones up ahead of him. Two and a half to go in the first half. That Cougar pat a two-minute throw towards the end of the half. There's plenty of time for them to score if they can put it together. The offensive players like John. They have a lot of confidence in him, and uh, they stood by him. Looks like they pick it up just a little bit. A good trap play inside, and uh, Jamal has a good uh, good effort here running the football to get the first down. First to 10 from the 32-yard line. That's a pitch to Jamal Willis. They kick it out on the right side, and he bangs it around the corner to the 38-yard line before he's knocked out uh, his feet. So they're running it right now. And effectively, Johnny Johnson and Steve Crombie, the tacklers. And just inside of two minutes now to go in the first half. A little extra effort right now. The, the line is getting out there. They're making the blocks and uh, getting the sweep going. They get a good balance now between the run and the pass. And they can move it down the field. They've done it many times before. Second and three, and they'll run from the shotgun this time. Lost control for the first time in the game. Nostro completes it. Oh, Caleb Hall. Oh, and I won when he was really hit hard. So I think they got enough for a first down. And that's the key to the whole thing. Uh, keep the momentum going. Keep those first downs going. And that was a good catch by Caleb Hall. Wolfram unloaded on him as he caught it, but he held the football for a first down. After a 43 yard line. Time left a minute 38 to go. Watch this hit. It's a nice throw. He's covering close, catches the ball. He knows he's going to take the hit. He comes up with the ball. Here's Walsh back to throw. Throws it. It's knocked away at the last minute. Made a chip, too, at the line of scrimmage. Knocking it away was James Burton. It also stops the clock to give BYU a chance to set some things up. He had good protection on that. The offensive line is working hard to give him protection. They know that he's hurting just a little bit, and if he gets that kind of protection, he will make the completion. Second and 10, BYU, from their own 43-yard line. 14 to 3 the score, or 17 to 3, I should say, the score. Two of the uh, best offensive teams in the WAC going after each other. Shotgun alignment this time. Walsh sets up. Throws, completes it to Taglioni to the 40, to the 35, down to the 30-yard line. That's his tight end, and the Cougars have a first down on the Fresno State 30-yard line with a minute 20 to go in the first half. Stoutmeyer. That was, a nice, down. that was a nice throw. BYU hasn't thrown to the tight end a lot this year, and it's important that they do that to make their offense going. So they get Terrence coming across the middle. The ball's right on the money, and he does a good job of running it after he catches the football. Fresno State calls a timeout as John Walsh threaded the needle that time. That was a fine pass to uh, Salione. 
If he gets protection, he can throw the football as good as anybody. Utah now ahead of Colorado State, 38 to 21 in the fourth quarter. They were way down in that game. Now they're coming back. Sounds like an offensive battle up in Salt Lake City, also. Well, timeout was just called by Fresno State with the Cougars holding a first down on the Bulldog 29-yard line, and this breathes some life into the BYU team and the BYU crowd. This is an important series. It's uh, just like last week. It's important for you to move the length of the field, get some points before halftime, get the momentum going back your way, and, uh, and the offense has done a good job on this series of being able to do that. Well, the BYU team coming back onto the field then offensively. They'll be at the 29-yard line. Walsh, the quarterback. Some running plays in this drive from Willis. And a couple of good pass completions. Cougars have three timeouts left. And a minute and 21 seconds to work with to try and get a score. Walsh out of the shotgun. They'll run it. Caden Hall crossing off to the right side. Inside handoff is inside the 25-yard line to the 24-yard line, and Brigham Young calls a good timeout. Tackling Ron Papation, the junior. He transferred from Pacific University and set out of here. That was a nice play. Uh, good change of pace. I'm sure Fresno State was thinking that they're going to throw the football, and there's always a chance you can pop a big one. And uh, they got five yards on it, and they still have the timeouts. They got plenty of time to do the things that they want to do to be successful on this fight. But at 12 to go in the half, they have two timeouts. And they're now 25 yards away from the end zone. Training by a score of 17 to 3. Touchdown for the first the builder for the Cougars. The next week, by the way, BYU will play at Utah State. Next Saturday in a non-league game. Fresno State has a tough one. They play at Wyoming next Saturday in a new game. So the uh, the, the leaders in the WAC will be going uh, head to head over the next few weeks. These are tough road trips. Uh, Fresno does finish the season with three WAC games at home, so uh, if they can hold their own on these road trips, then people have to come to them to win the championship. So uh, these two next few weeks are very important for Fresno State. Second and six for Brigham Young after a four-yard run, and from the shotgun, John Walsh, the quarterback. Looks over the field. Goes in the middle. Again, the tie, Salioni is tied in to about the 15-yard line. That's a first down throw. And they'll try to get right up over the line of scrimmage and run about using a timeout now. As the clock stops while they move the chains. But number 25 got hurt on that last play. Good protection once again. Tight end right across the middle. Gets the ball in there. And gets Johnny lined Johnson. up for first and ten. Johnny Johnson's the one made the hit end was banged up. Here is Walsh to throw again. Throws incomplete. Down at the four-yard line. Threw it between two defenders to Tyler Anderson, but it was uh, tipped. Lance Thomas and James Burton, and the ball's incomplete. Got a little excited on that one. It looked like he tried to force it in there a little bit, Jay. Uh, I think if he'll take a little bit more time, they'll free someone up, and he'll find the open receiver in the end zone. Second and 10 at the 15-yard line. Now with 57 seconds to go in the first half. And out of the shotgun. Here's the snap. Walsh throws. Just let his man a little bit too much. We almost had six there. Steve Christensen, but the ball was overthrown. Covering Omar Stoutmeyer. Nice try, but not quite. It was a good design play. They got the quarter, uh, the running back out of the backfield down the sideline, isolated on a, on the rover back, and uh, he's open. You just got to get him the football. Third and ten. So here's the play for BYU. Third and ten from the 15. 52 seconds left to go. He's going to the outside, turns it up, and he's open. It's just a little bit overthrown. He's got the ball. Good protection. Into the middle of the field, but it's batted away at the line of scrimmage. So now the Cougars have to decide. Do you go for three points, or do you try to, uh, to still get four out of it? They're going to call a timeout and talk it over. Timeout called by Brigham Young University. As Walsh tried to zip it in the middle of the field, and it was knocked down the line of scrimmage. 48 
seconds to go. They face third and fourth and ten at the 15. And all of the offensive unit over around the uh, offensive coaches. Looks like he has his receiver open. Uh, just as he goes to throw, though, the man over the right guard jumps up and knocks it down. That happens sometimes when you're trying to throw down the middle that they'll get in your face. Defensive team from, uh, from Fresno State is over talking to their coaches, too. So no players out of the field right now. Is everybody over getting those last-minute instructions? How do you stop it defensively? How do we get at least 10 yards offensively? I'm sure they're trying to cover all options of what might happen. And, of course, the uh, BYU make sure they're all on the same page as far as the pass protection, as far as uh, the pattern, and where the quarterback's going to throw. Very important down for uh, both the defense and the offense to get this close to scoring for Fresno to keep out of the end zone and close to BYU to get The offensive line is different. Now, Walsh, good protection on this guy. And as you pointed out, now, if they protect him, he'll find some open runners, open the receivers. Walsh is a little frustrated because he saw the receiver, he thought he had a touchdown, and gets batted down. And, uh, he's a competitor, so uh, this will be an important play for him. They're going for the 10 yards with a score, not a field goal. Graves will come out wide to the left. Doman wide to the right. Willis and Hall the setbacks. And a shotgun alignment with Walsh at quarterback. Here's the snap. Has the time. Here's the pass. Is he out of bounds? No, he was in down. Graves hung on to it at the three-yard line. Tremendous catch by Graves for BYU. Tommy Jones there, but it'll be first and goal. Well, they gambled the paid off. We referred to Eric in the program today as being the money man, and that's exactly what he was. You go with your quarterback, your best receiver, and he's going to come up with a big play. This is good protection. He's seeing what's happening. Eric knows where the first down is. Nice throw. Nice job of keeping oh, his feet down and job. getting the catch. What a job of keeping his feet down. 43 seconds to go in the first half, and the Cougars threatening to score right here. This could really change the picture in this football game if they get in. T formation, full house, flag goes down. Had the Cougars been called with uh, too much time? Maybe so. Illegal substitution, against the offense, five yard penalty, still first down. The illegal substitution against BYU. You have to stay in the huddle, I think. It's one of those things you can't run the play in and then go back off the sideline. And I'm not sure that that's what's happened, but, uh, but it looks like that's what was called. All right, BYU with the first and goal on the eight-yard line then. With 43 seconds to play in the half and with one timeout remaining. They gambled, got the big first down. Now what will they do? Walsh up over the center this time. It's a pitch to Jamal Willis. Stumbled, knocked off his feet at the eight-yard line. There was one man out there, and they couldn't get around him. And it looked like they might have been in the wrong formation, Jay. It didn't look like they had anybody to block him. And usually you'll have a wide receiver or a running back that will be out there to block the widest man. And uh, that didn't happen on that play. That was James Burton. James Burton made a good defensive hit. He doesn't make it. It could have been a touchdown. 37 seconds to go in the half, and now we have another timeout by BYU. See the, the wide receiver brought down to the inside, and uh, uh, the defensive back didn't stay with him. He was in zone coverage, so he just came up the field, and there was no one blocking. You're limited just a little bit what you can do down here, because you don't have the bootleg with the run option with Walsh. He has to pitch the ball, or he has to throw the ball, and, and uh, you don't, you can't put the pressure on the corner and the goal line to get the back. But uh, obviously he's done a great job on this drive, and uh, he wants to play, and that's the important thing. Well, it's changed the picture of the football game. It was all Fresno State, and something Walsh coming into the game. The Cougars have moved all the way downfield to where they're Second and goal at the Fresno State nine-yard line. I think the key to the whole thing is, like we talked about, the offensive line knows they have to protect him. And uh, if they do, obviously he can't throw the football. Walsh over talking to his tight end, Salioni, now as we're ready to go with the play. Out of the shotgun. Now he'll move up over the center. Takes the snap. Looks to throw. Does throw. That could have been the touchdown. Maybe just a little bit of back of it, but that was a catchable throw. That was a nice throw, and uh, those are the catches you've got to make, especially in drives like this. I don't think he could have called that any better. I don't think he could have thrown it any better. Hit him right on the shoulder pad, Jay, and it just bounces off. Maybe the sun got a little bit in his eye, but that's one he should have caught. 
Peterson Burton covering on the play, so it's third and goal at the nine-yard line. Matsuzaki wide to the right. Anderson to the left. Here's Walsh back to throw again. Throws. He had a wide open man in the end zone and he overthrew it. He was wide open and Walsh just overthrew it. And that's Salioni again. So the Cougars face fourth down from the nine yard line and they could have or should have had six. Once again, I think they're double covering the wide receiver and they're uh, giving him the tight end. And the key to the whole thing is just got to get the ball to him and make sure that uh, they come up with a touchdown. Well, fourth and goal at the nine yard line then. BYU with the ball. Trying to get a play in there in a hurry. They don't have any timeouts. They're going to have to hurry to get this one underway. Christensen in for BYU as a running back. Shotgun. Ross looking it over. They've stopped the play. I think there was movement by the right guard before the ball was snapped. So I think it's going to be uh, still fourth down, but it'll be fourth and 15 now for the touchdown. Well, the group was struggling. They came down. They gambled on a big one, got a first down. They were down inside the five. But now uh, we'll face fourth down back outside the 10. 28 seconds to play in the half. The first penalty hurt because uh, that illegal participation because you'd love to have first and goal on the three-yard line. Then it gives you the option. Well, they're going for the touchdown. Good protection here. Fourth and goal. Like the right guard just moves before the ball is snapped. Fourth and goal for 14. Lost with the ball. Being chased. Throws. Kalen Hall under pressure, and BYU gets the score. Boy, does that change the complexion of this game. Kalen Hall made the grab. John Walsh has his 12th TD pass of the year, and Kalen Hall has his first TD reception of the year. That was a good job of John keeping his composure. He stayed in the pocket, waited for Kalen to shake his man. Snap was a little bit low. He didn't panic. He's getting a little pressure. Steps up. Nice throw. Kalen turns on the, the burners to make a great catch in the end zone for a touchdown. That was a big play, Jay. It was not an easy ball to catch either. Here's Herrick's extra point attempt. It is good. So the Cougars, with a little over about two and a half minutes to go, they get the football at the 20. They bring in John Walsh. They struggle, but he gets them downfield for seven. It is now 17 to 10, Fresno State, and that is a big difference going into the uh, dressing room down 17-3. Or you think Fresno State could have even had four points after the two interceptions? They could have, and it's a reverse from last year because last year BYU uh, jumped on him early and was up by a couple of three touchdowns, and Fresno State battled their way back into the game, and so uh, it's a reverse of what we saw last year against Fresno State. Well, the Cougars will be kicking off to the Bulldogs with now 23 seconds remaining in the first half, and it's 17-10, Fresno. Coming to life here at Cougar Stadium in Provo as BYU kicks off the Fresno State. Eric kicking off. Here's the kick. Drives it high, drives it back about uh, five yards into the end zone. They will not run it out. Taking that kick was David Dunn, who's their main kick return man, a junior out of San Diego. Fresno State with the ball in their own 20, following the touchback. 23 seconds to go. The Cougars are out of timeouts. The Bulldogs have two. The way Dilford can throw, they might go for something here. I'm sure they like their two-minute offense. He's a lot like Devin was in the past. He can make a lot of things happen in 23 seconds, especially if you've got two timeouts. So, uh, anyway, he's going to have to play defense and not let him move down the field. Fresno State with their band here for the game. Here's the first down play for the Bulldogs from the 20. Well, the alignment they have, they're just going to drop the ball and uh, let the time run out here in the first half. That's what Gilper does. He just drops to a knee, and they will not even run another play. They head for the dressing room now. As the time runs down, 10 seconds still on the clock, but the Fresno State team is already off the field. The Cougars heading for their dressing room. And at halftime, Fresno State 
Fresno State University has the lead over Brigham Young by a touchdown. Fresno State 17, Brigham Young 10. Bulldogs hurt themselves with a penalty or two also, so we had 14 penalties called in the first half of the game. And the Cougars trail by a score of 17 to 10 over the Bulldogs of Fresno State, and BYU will kick off to open the second half. Dunn is back about two yards into the end zone waiting for the Bulldogs as Joe Herrick waits to kick off for Brigham Young University. Second half getting underway. Fresno State ahead by a touchdown. Herrick ready. And here we go. Here's the kickoff of the second half. Kicks it very high. Not quite as deep as some of the others. About to the two-yard line. Dunn has it. He's got 10-15. And tries to go outside and back into the middle. Dances away from a couple to the 23-yard line. And then they hit him hard. So Fresno State will take over first and 10 at that point. The tackle for BYU is by the kicker, Joe Herrick. I think Fresno State's thinking, especially when they just uh, downed the ball before half, they were going to get the ball the second half, hopefully get the crowd out of it and get the momentum back their way. But I think they look at this series as being a very important series uh, in their game plan of the day. First and ten for Fresno State then on their own 23-yard line as we open quarter number three. Fred Gilford, quarterback. Got a fine first half. He'll throw on first down. Does throw, completes it to Dunn. Dunn is down at the 29-yard line. Quick uh, pop to David Dunn. Out to the right, and Dennis Simmons for BYU, the tackler. Her BYU lost Todd Herget in the first half and with a reoccurrence to that uh, shoulder injury. Dennis Simmons, this is his first chance of uh, getting some uh, playing time. He's been on special teams, but uh, he's been playing behind Todd and hasn't got a lot of action. Second down and four for the Fresno Bulldogs from about the 30-yard line. Draw play. Got away from one man, is over the 30. Will be close to yardage for the first down as they ran the draw with uh, Rivers, Ron Rivers. Corey Cook, the tackler. Almost had him for a loss. Yes, they get a shot to uh, tackling, but he's a, he's a good runner. He pulls free from uh, the tackles and gets that extra yardage, and that's a sign of a, being a very good running back. And it does give them the first down. First and 10, Fresno on the 33-and-a-half-yard line. Trent Dilfer completed half of his passes in the first half, but a couple of them over touchdown. He's back to throw, does throw, and completes it. He gets away. He's up to the 50-yard line. They've got some speed down to the BYU 40. Quick pop to the outside of the young man who's given the Cougars problems in this game. Malcolm Sebron, Frank Christensen, finally brings him down. Do we have a flag down? We do. There's a flag down on the field, however. Patrick Mitchell covering, and the teams are coming back upfield. Illegal procedure, the call against Fresno State. So both teams have uh, hurt themselves with penalties in this game. I think there's way too many penalties. This against the offensive team. Five-yard penalty. Special first play in uh, the season. But, of course, with different formation and motions, these things will happen. Uh, that was a nice throw. Uh, Patrick came up and didn't make the tackle, and uh, he got good yardage on him. But uh, the penalty has taken away a lot of big plays today for both teams. Sixth penalty of the game against Fresno State. Which makes it first and 15 to the 29-yard line, though. We're just opening the third quarter. The Bulldogs have a seven-point lead. Brigham Young leads the whack with a 4-0 record. Fresno State is 2-1. He bootlegs, rolls to the left, being chased, gets the pass downfield. Great catch at the 39-yard line. And uh, goes out of bounds as he catches it. That is Anthony Diggle. Ted Dawson covering for BYU. Not a first down throw, but a good gainer. That's a good job of throwing under pressure. And of course, they like Diggle. He uh, has been their all-purpose person. That does a lot of big, big things for Fresno State in their offense. Good fake. Gets to the outside. Lenny's putting good pressure on him. Good throw and good catch. Puts him right to the sideline. Second and five for Fresno State at their own 39-yard line as we open quarter number three. Here's Gilford to throw again. Does throw, completes it to the BYR correction to his 45-yard line. That's enough for the first down. Through that one to uh, Titus Winans, the split end. Mitchell covering for the Cougars. Once again, they're respecting the speed of uh, Fresno State, and so they give them a little bit of room. 
Uh, the quarterback does a good job of getting the ball and getting the first down on those uh, short throws. He's only been intercepted four times this year. And let's see, he's thrown about 150 consecutive passes now without an interception. He plays about 57% of his uh, passes, so he's uh, very effective at what he does. First and 10, Fresno State on the Bulldog 46-yard line. I formation, and they run on the draw this time to Rivers. Rivers puts run tackle. He's got 10 yards, 11 yards, as he fights his way down to the BYU 43-yard line. Dennis Simmons is the tackler for the Cougars. He got away before he could as he went around the corner. Yes, I think there was a couple of missed tackles. Uh, once again, the, the BYU defense has to, pursue, has to pursue, has to get to the ball. He gets the ball deep. Gets to the outside. Corey reacts up. But he misses the tackle. He runs into his own uh, blocking back and then uh, comes off for a first, first down. Bulldogs with another first down. Now on the BYU 43-yard line. Cougars trailing by seven. The Bulldogs looking for more points right now. High formation. It's the running play again to Rivers. And Rivers stopped right at the line of scrimmage this time. Out of that tailback position. Hit pretty well by Travis Hall for BYU, first of all. That was a good defensive play. They uh, shifted defense. They brought a backer. Travis stayed at home. He knew he had the, the draw action, and he's played good football the last couple weeks. The Bulldogs then second at nine. They've been effective in this game with uh, time of possession. First half of the game, they had a couple of long drives where they really held on to the football. BYU is bringing in an extra defensive back to give them better pass coverage. 144 consecutive passes without an interception. And he's back to throw right now, and he does throw, and it's complete. Complete on the left side and out of bounds to the BYU 31-yard line. Nice quick block to uh, Titus Winans, and Patrick Mitchell knocks him out of bounds. Another first down throw. This has been an effective drive. They've uh, mixed in the run, but uh, the short pass is what they've been going with and uh, been very effective doing it. First and 10 Bulldogs on the BYU 31-yard line. 17-10. Fresno State leading and with a good drive to open the third quarter. Started their own 20. Now, now down to the BYU 31. High formation. A lot of shifting. They shifted strong to the right side. Pitch it to the right side to Rivers, trying to get around the corner, turns that corner, and is about the 21-yard line, maybe the 20-yard line. That's a first down run. Good run by Rivers on a sweep, power to the right. Muirbrook and Dawson, the tacklers. They did a good job of uh, switching their formations. They got some extra blockers over there, just made the toss to the outside, and were able to seal the corner to get him around the corner to get the first down. The BYU gained a lot of momentum at the end of the first half, but the Bulldogs getting it right back, and that's one of the reasons. Ron Rivers, senior running back, not very tall, tough to bring down. First and ten, Bulldogs on the BYU 20-yard line. They just do some shifting. They run it to the right side, and they lose right at this time. Daigle slipped as he tried to make his cut, but he was also well covered. Corey Cook got there first of all for BYU. Had some help from Dennis Simmons. They did a good job. They shifted their defense right at the last moment, and that mess messes up the blocking assignments of freedom up to uh, to make the play. And then he did slip as he was trying to make his cut. Did get back just to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten for Fresno State. Send two men wide to the left. And the crowd turns up the noise level. Gilford gives it a handoff to Rivers. Oh, it's a reverse. Coming around the right side, down to the 10-yard line, knocked out of bounds about the 5-yard line. Nice fake that time. And then they ran the, uh, the reverse with Charlie Jones carrying the ball. They almost scored. Charlton and Christensen saved the TD. Good call. They have an effective offense. They uh, move people around. They had a slot formation to the left, got both cornerbacks on the other side. He sprints out, gets the ball to the wide receiver on the reverse. Got enough speed to get around the corner, similar to Tyler Anderson. He caused some problems when he gets out there on the corner. First and goal, Bulldogs on the BYU four-yard line. So they've really taken control here in the third quarter of the game. Now a deep formation, Bull Hops. They run it to the right side. That's Rivers. He will score. So they ran it off the right side, and Rivers got in for the TD. That is his 10th uh, rushing touchdown of the year. Number one in the whack. 
He's a great runner, and he puts the uh, Bulldogs out in front now by 13, 23 to 10, as they march from the 20 downfield on a solid drive to score. That was very effective, moving, mixing the, the run with the pass, and on that last one, they just sealed off the, the line of scrimmage and got in the end zone. Mahoney will try the extra point. It is good. So Mahoney kicks it in there. And with ten and a half minutes to play, there are flags that go down on the field. With ten and a half minutes to go, the scoreboard shows 24 to 10, but there were flags dropped. I think they called rubbing ruck in the kicker. I think the BYU man was blocked into the kicker, but they're going to call rough in the kicker. First of all, roughing the kicker. Assessed on the kickoff. Point's good. So the extra point is good. They'll put the uh, penalty down on the kickoff. So they'll kick off from about the 50-yard line. 24-10, Fresno State on top, and there's time out on the field. moving along the line, and as Bell pointed out, uh, this late in the season, it's unusual to see that many procedural penalties. Demetrius Edwards, I think, jumped too soon. Dead ball, offside, right, five-yard penalty, first down. Cougars will have first and five on the 25, then, after the five-yard penalty on the Bulldogs. 24 to 10, the score. As Fresno State, they lost at Colorado State and trying to get a road victory here today to kind of even things up a bit. Same alignment for BYU, a two-man wide to the right, and Willis, the home setback. Lost goes to throw, does throw. It's caught in the middle of the field in the 45-yard It's a flipper. That's great. He might be able to outrun him. No, they catch him at the 18-yard line. So Eric Reed puts BYU in scoring position. Tommy Jones got up with it. 
And the Cougars with a big one right up the middle. That was a nice throw. That was an excellent effort on Eric Grage. And, of course, uh, they have great speed in the defensive back, or they wouldn't have caught him. He just splits his own. He's open right down the middle. Then he turns on the speed. I think he outruns uh, the left cornerback, but he does uh, get caught from behind. Big play. First and ten, Brigham Young on the Bulldog 18-yard line. They fumble the football, but I believe the Cougars get it. Boy, Walsh turned around and looked back and said, oh, no. There's the ball. Looked like a big lineman dropped on it. It is. It's Edwards. BYU. Once again, that's what, happens. that's what happens when you miss practice. The tightens off just a little bit. They wanted to get the toss. They wanted to get outside. And, uh, and he tries to toss the ball before he gets the football. So it's very important that, uh, that he comes up with the football. Of course, they added a yard to the rushing yardage here. Turned around and the ball was not there. That's a good football sense by uh, Jimmy Edwards because a lot of guards would have uh, run right by the ball. Second and nine from the 17 out of the shotgun. Walsh has the football, looks to throw, does throw. And it is caught for touchdown. Nice catch right at the goal line by Bryce Gordon. A great throw by Walsh. And the Cougars get a quick score. Tommy Jones covering, but don't make the grab. BYU can do offensively if they come on track. They cut out the mistakes. 13th touchdown pass of the year for John Walsh and for Doma. That's his fourth TD reception. And it's 24 to 16. That was the offense we were looking for the first half and we couldn't find, Jake. You're right. Well, it's certainly on the field right now. As BYU scores in a hurry. A big throw to Graves and a throw to Doman. And a fumble for a yard gain. Here is Herrick to try the extra point. Eric's kick, plenty of distance, and it's through there. Eric has another extra half of the season. He is now 21 out of 24. And BYU at 7. With timeout, 9 and a half to go in the third quarter. It's 24-7 Fresno State. in this game. He was only six behind Todd Christensen for number four in the career reception uh, uh, statistics. So he's, he's moving up. That's pretty good company when you get up with Todd Christensen and all the great years he had for BYU and of course the great years that he uh, had in the pro. He's a super receiver. That'll give the Bulldogs the football on their own 35-yard line. And they'll take over first and ten and they had a good, impressive, solid drive. Last time to score, BYU scored in three plays in theirs. Dilfer, who's had a fine football game, as he usually does. That last drive for the Cougars, just over a minute to go down field and score. The first one for the high school. He's a, he's a great competitor. First and ten, and listen to the noise from the mouth of the crowd. That is Rivers, finds a good opening up the middle and runs it all the way to the 50-yard line. Nice delayed run by Rivers. Casey Mazzotta for BYU pulled him down, but he just waited until it opened up. He missed Todd Herget in the middle. Uh, that's a delayed draw, but uh, he pops the line of scrimmage and makes good yardage. Now the first down for Fresno State right at midfield. Here's that touchdown for BYU. Good pattern by Bryce Doman. Keeps his eye on the ball. Goes up and makes a catch for a touchdown. Can't do it any better than that. First and ten Bulldogs at the 50-yard line. They lead by seven. They have the ball. Gilford back to pass. Takes once. Throws it deep. Way downfield and it is 
Did he catch it? Great catch down at the 17-yard line. What a grab by number six, Lee Harris. Dick Charlton all over him, and he came up with the football. And is he excited over that one? Dick was in good position. He was there to play the ball, but it looked like that Harris had a little bit of height on him, reached over the top, and came up with the catch. And that's what great receivers will do, is they'll go after the ball regardless of where it is. Well, now we've got that tennis match going. <laughs> Back and forth. We thought we were going to see that the first half. That's why we were, we were surprised to see the defensive struggle. First and goal, Bulldogs on the BYU 6, or first and 10 on the BYU 16-yard line. As Trent Dilfer brings his team up. Ready to go again. Now the Cougars uh, jump forward. They say that a Fresno State lineman move. Let's see which way the officials will go. I think the officials agree with all start. Yep. Offense. That's right. Five yard penalty. First down. Five starts along the line. Cost them five. I'm sure Coach Swinney not very happy over those infractions in this game. He might be going for the record for penalties today. Eight and a half to go in the third quarter. 24-17, Fresno State. The Bulldogs with the first and 15 now on the Cougar 21-yard line. Gilbert's putting two men wide to the left. High formation. Gives on a handoff to sliding to the right side. The gain is just inside the 20, maybe 22 by the 17-yard, 18-yard line as Daigle carries and Gomes tackles. That was a good defensive effort. They reacted to the ball, uh, come up with the tackle, and kept him to short yardage and put him in a second-long situation. Second down, then, for the Bulldogs. They need about 12 yards for a first down. They are on the BYU 17-and-a-half-yard line. Trent Dilfer, quarterback, he's a junior from Aptus, California. It's a pitch to Rivers, it's a reverse. The Cougars have a chase back deep, but he gets around the corner of the right side and has bumped out of bounds right at the line of scrimmage. So that time, BYU played it well. Coming was Malcolm Seabrook on the reverse, and Corey Cook stayed with him. They almost dropped him for a big loss. He acted really well to that. Uh, I'm sure they made the adjustment at halftime on the reverse, but uh, there were a couple of BYU defensive players that put the pressure on him, forced him deep, and by that time, uh, they were able to knock him out of bounds. But it's third down again, Jake. It's been a big down for him. They lost yardage just a little. It's back to the 18-yard line, so it is third down and 12 for the Bulldogs at Fresno State, and they want a timeout. Fresno State calls timeout with seven and a half minutes left to play in the third quarter. And they want to talk it over with. They lead BYU by a score of 24 to 17 with that timeout on the field. BYU team will be at home or be on the road next week. They'll play Utah State in Logan. While Fresno State will be on the road. They'll play at Wyoming. There you see the score, a seven-point lead, and there's timeout on the field. Fresno State with the football. They call timeout to uh, discuss things, see what they will try to do as they face third and 12. Fresno State with the football. They call timeout to uh, discuss things, see what they will try to do as they face third and 12 on the Brigham Young 18-yard line. They have been a team that's done very well on third down in this game. They certainly have. And both the uh, offense and defense have had a chance to talk to the coach. And hopefully they've uh, covered everything that needs to be covered. They may come back with that uh, back underneath that was open for the touchdown that they missed earlier in the game. Frank Dilfer, quarterback. Bringing his bulldogs up over the football. They have a big three down play. Only one setback this time. He's back to pass, throws it in the middle of the field, and over to everybody, it's incomplete. Throwing it for Seaver, he was pretty well covered by Patrick Mitchell of BYU, along with Casey Mazzotta. Yeah, double coverage on it, and I think they anticipated that pattern and uh, had it covered very well, and I think that was a smart move by the quarterback to overthrow that and settle for the field goal. Mahoney will try to kick a field goal from the 25-yard line. A 35-yard field goal attempt. 11 of 14 on the season. Snap is down. The kick has the distance. 
And the kick is good. So Mahoney adds three points to the Fresno State total with his 12th field goal of the season. And Fresno State now leads Brigham Young by a score of 27 to 17, a 10 point lead. And the Cougars will receive in just a moment. BYU's now scored 231 consecutive time in games as we have time out on the field. Fresno ahead by 10. with the Cougars having Christensen and Anderson, the two deep men. He's had a great career as a kicker for Fresno State. He's uh, closing in on all of the scoring records they have there. He does a very good job. But he only needs 26 extra points, but he's got three up in this game, to break the NCAA record for extra points kicked in a career. The way they score, he may get them. Here's Mahoney's kickoff, long and deep. That's Christensen. He's got 15 yards. And the ball is fumbled. Goes bouncing out of bounds. It'll be BYU's ball. Oh boy, what a break for the Taylor Lucky on that one. I'll say. If it doesn't go out of bounds, uh, Fresno State has the shot at it. In fact, if it had been just a little slower, rolling out of bounds. So the Cougars will take over first and 10 on their own, what, about the 18-yard line? Looks like that's where it is. Walsh coming back in a quarterback. Boy, Wyoming running up the score on the Hawaii Rainbows. Arizona State beating Stanford. That's an interesting combination. Hawaii go 1-4 in the whack with this loss, and Wyoming will go 4-0. Oh. First and 10, BYU. Walsh running from the shotgun. They're at their own 18-yard line. They trail by 10 here in the third quarter of the game. They'll run it. Inside handoff. That's Kaden Hall, and Kaden Hall loses yardage. He's dropped the 16-yard line. Nothing doing on that today. They tried to do that trap, and it was just a little bit slow hitting. Uh, the timing wasn't really good from the sh shotgun formation, and it just didn't, didn't ever have a chance to develop. Chris Rockwell, the defensive player, made the tackle. So BYU loses three. They have second and 13 on their own, well, actually their 15-yard line now. This is probably as well as Fresno's played against the run all year. BYU keeps it. He tried to get away, but they had him by the jersey. In jersey, the ball was dropped. Brad Bell right on top of him. I think it was Evan Pilgrim who came up with the ball. With the injury he has, he's not going to be able to run when he gets flushed out of the pocket. So it's very important that the offensive line give him enough protection so that he can uh, throw the football. There was a breakdown right at the last minute, and uh, the ball was not loose, but BYU was able to recover. Now it's third and long yardage from the eight-yard line, third down and 20 for BYU. Field position changing right now, unless they can look at a big play. Walsh dancing around, throws at the 25-yard line by Drake, but it's not enough for the first down. It gets them a little bit uh, more room, but they'll have to punt it away. Burton and Wells covering. Cougars trading by 10 with 5.40 to play in the third period of the game, and BYU will be forced to punt it. That was a nice throw, but there was just too many mistakes on that, period, on that first series. Uh, they didn't get the blocking on the run, and then, of course, the, the sack. Eric Drake, once again, he's trying to get open down the middle. Boardman averaged 53 yards of punt in the first half. He'll kick from the 10-yard line. That was an excellent catch by Eric. Come on! Come on! Back deep is Charlie Jones. The kick. Good punt again. He had kicked it over his head. No, he goes back to get. He called for a fair catch, but he almost misjudged that when he had to retreat quickly to catch it at about the 30, the 29-yard line. And now it's up to the BYU defense to see if they can stop the uh, Fresno State Bulldogs at this point. 27-17, Fresno leading with 5:05 to go in the third period. Looks like he changed his mind in midair on the last one, Jay. Well, we could have a wild and exciting finish to this Western Athletic Conference this year. BYU, Wyoming, San Diego, San Diego State, Fresno State, all in the mix. And New Mexico is playing wild, too. If they could get a win tonight on the road, which would be an upset of the San Diego State, they would be uh, a factor. 
Dilfer with the Galar at the uh, trial, the delayed handoff. And a nice run all the way to the 44 yard line. That's been a good play for them here in the second half. Ron Rivers with Casey Mazzotta getting it. This is first down run. This is what Fresno State would like to do. They would like to keep the ball on the ground, let the clock run, and get good yardage. And uh, on that last one, Corey Cook came off, but he was a little bit late. This is just a draw play. Leading through with the pullback, getting a good block. He breaks it to the outside, breaks the tackle, gets the extra, more, gets the extra yardage. And the first down, or the uh, first down advances to the 46-yard line. First and 10 at the 46. Dilfer with the ball, back to throw, does throw, completes it to the BYU 40-yard line before he's trying to pull down. That is uh, Titus Winans, the split end. Vic Tarleton tackles him. So they're on the move once again. They have moved the ball three consecutive times here in the second half. Have a touchdown, a field goal, and now they're in BYU territory. They have a lot of confidence in the wide receivers. They're, uh, I think all five of them returned from last year. They have good size. They throw it up, and uh, they are sure-handed as far as catching the football. First and ten, Fresno State on the Brigham Young 39-yard line. Because it trails, and well, they led three nothing. Here's another running play. This is Jake. He bounces off one of the tackles. They gang up on him this time at about the 37. Masada and Cook for the Cougars in particular. Once again, you have to wrap up on the tacklers uh, against good running backs. Uh, I think Travis Hall had a shot right at the line of scrimmage and slipped off and got the extra four yards. Uh, they should have had him for a loss. Second down and seven for the Bulldogs. They're now on the BYU 36-yard line. And they're keeping that clock going, too. 3.40 to go in the third period. Leading BYU by 10. Fred Dilfer. Straight back to throw. Big chase. Got away from him. Now big chase. Puts it down. But there's nobody up the sidelines. The ball goes down. He may be called an intentional grounding this one. As BYU really had the pressure on him, that by Randy Brock, he's arguing with the referee about it, saying there was a man downfield. But I don't think the referee's going to buy it. He's trying to talk him into the call, but I don't think he's going to get away with it. Intentionally grounding him. He's upset over the call. Illegal pass. It's the offense. Loss of down. Third down. I think it hurts on that one. He heard it is the loss of down. This is good pressure. They flush him out of the pocket. He does just throw it. And it doesn't look like there's anybody in the area. The penalty comes from back the other way through it, too. So it puts it all the way back. Uh, the hold on 44 yards. To make it third down at 27. Third 27 from their own 44. They lead BYU 27 to 17. And they... Uh, Turns up the noise volume again. Here's Wolf for the throw. Again, Crusher. Going to throw it deep. Hangs it up way downfield, and it's incomplete. Seabrim was the man for him to try to get it, but he was out of bounds. So was the throw out of bounds, and they'll have to punt it. Patrick Mitchell staying right with Seabrim that time. Where they have good speed. They're taking our cornerback to the limit as far as uh, those takeoff patterns. Here's Derek Mahoney coming in to punt. He'll kick from his own 29. And BYU with Great and uh, Johnson both back deep at the 20. 319 to go in quarter number three. Through the Cougars will try. I'm sure they're going to try to get to this point. They're coming hard. They did block it. They did block it. It is picked up by a Fresno State runner running it back up field, and he's down at the 48-yard line. So BYU blocked the punt. First of all, Mahoney went to kick it, saw a man right on top of it. He sidestepped him, tried it again, and then it was blocked. That was a good effort. They did overload uh, the rush on the uh, They tried to switch their blocking scheme, and it didn't happen. They popped the defensive man through uh, and uh, blocked the punt. But BYU will take over at midfield. Juan Turner, is he the one that ran it back? I'm not sure who blocked it. So BYU with the ball at midfield. 
at their own 48 yard line, or at the Fresno 48 yard line. Here's a pass down the sideline to Jennifer Clay, just off his fingertips at about the 24 yard line. Tommy Jones covering on the play. They came back after the turnover to try to go for the deep one to get a quick touchdown. Uh, right idea. It looked like Eric was open, uh, just overthrowing just a little bit. Just over three minutes to play in the third quarter. Brigham Young University with the ball on the Fresno State 48-yard line. They should be patient on this drive. They still got plenty of time to move it down and get it in the end zone and be right back in this ball game. Walsh at quarterback. Boy, is Fresno load up the line this time. Walsh with an audible. The pass. They'll sack it. Back at the 47 yard line. A lot of pressure on him that time. So the Cougars face third and long yardage. And after the block, they're not a good uh, position. He sees he's not going to be able to kick it, so he pulls it down, goes past the first one. By that time, of course, they got a, a man in his face to block it. Waylon Hickman is the one that ended up getting the ball. BYU has a third down and 15 from the shotgun. Fresno's played good defense in this game. The defense has been the line, somebody it's low, but Walsh gets it. Sets up, fires one downfield, and it is in for first. Dockey said he was blocked all along the way, and it kind of looked like he was, but there's no flag. James Burton covered. So the Cougars will have to uh, punt it away. That was a big defensive series for uh, Fresno State. Well, you had a couple of chances to get the big play and weren't able to come up with it. So BYU will have Boardman in the game to kick right now. Boardman punting. He's got it and gets it away. Kicks it towards the corner. It bounces and out of bounds around the 10 yard line. Nice punt by Boardman. Mark it down about the 12 and a half yard line. Well, the Cougar defense got the block last time, got good position, but Fresno stopped him. 2 12 to play in the third period. Fresno ahead by 10. Pretty good football game for these two teams. But not as many points as you would have expected, though. No. no, there was a couple of series just after half that looked like the offensive battle that we were anticipating. But other than that, there's been some pretty good defensive plays. Fresno State did a good job on that series. They'd bring the outside linebacker, line him up on one side and run him to the other to uh, try to mix up the blocking. And that would be tough for them. They have a first down there on their own 12 and a half yard line. As we open another offensive series, Wilford gives up a delayed handoff, and Rivers is tackled at the 15-yard line, tackled from behind by Travis Hall. That was a good defensive play. Uh, he was able to come flat down the line, make the tackle from behind before he got off and got running. Second down for the Bulldogs, and eight after a two-yard gain on their own 15-yard line. I've been impressed with Travis Hall. I think he's playing some good football for the Cougars at this time. He played well last week against Notre Dame. He certainly did. Washington a big lead. Wyoming winning handily over Wyoming. That's a big win for the Cowboys. They can take over first place by themselves at the score of this game stands. Here's Gilford back to pass. Looks to his left. Being chased to his left. Gets the pass off just before he is hit. And throws it out of bounds. Trying to get it to Charlie Jones. Christensen covering for BYU. Once again, that was a good defensive effort. Good pressure by Travis Hall. Uh, Lenny Gomes loops to the outside, and he's in his face as he's throwing. That's what they got to have. they got to keep him in the pocket. they got to get pressure on him. Because if he does have time, he can certainly throw the football. Third down. And still seven yards to go for the first down. For the Fresno State Bulldogs. Clock stopped now with a minute 28 to go. In the third quarter. Another big third down play in this game. Wilford setting up the throw. Does get the pass off. Nice catch. Nice catch at the 27-yard line. And out of bounds for the first down is Titus Winans. Patrick Mitchell got in front of him, but couldn't quite get to the ball, and they get the first down. That was a well-thrown ball. Uh, that takes a little courage to throw that ball, because if you underthrow it, it's a pick for a touchdown. But uh, he threw it right on the money, and once again, uh, they throw that 100 times, and, uh, and he completes it. 
It's the 26-yard line where he went out of bounds. First down right there for the Bulldogs. We're approaching the end of the third quarter with Fresno State ahead by 10, and they have possession. High formation. Draw play to Rivers. Rivers advances at three yards, maybe two yards. Slashing off the left side. Hall there. Gomes there for BYU. Ron Rivers has had quite a game. Ted Dawson also in the stop. In fact, they are 14-0, isn't it? Yeah, they're 14-0 when Rivers has a 100-yard rushing game. Well, he's probably getting pretty close today. He gave two on that one. Second and eight for Fresno at the 28. High formation again. Bill Bird is out of it. He's back to throw, throws into the middle of the field. He's got a man. It might be a touchdown. Down to the 20, down to the 10, and it will be a score. So he threw into the middle of the field to Charlie Jones, and they hit it. So a 10-point lead he jumps up quickly. It's 33 to 17. Boy, a big one to Charlie Jones. They got some great speed. They certainly out. do. Did that uh, pass looked like it was going to be overthrown. He run right under it and uh, took off for the touchdown. Now, that's the audible for a blitz. Is the post pattern. He was able to beat uh, the cornerback on the post and score the touchdown. Well, for Charlie Jones, and another, that's his sixth TD reception of the year, his second of this game. And Dilfer now has 16 TD passes on the season. As Mahoney tries to add one more point. 25 seconds to go in the third quarter. And the Cougars in front. Here's the kick. It is good by Mahoney. So the score is now 34 for Fresno State and 17 for Brigham Young. And the Cougars, for the first time in many a moon, face a third consecutive loss. We're not used to being behind at this point in the game in Cougar Stadium. That hasn't happened very often either. We've even got some fans starting to leave. Once again, it was just a post pattern. Had the speed to run under the ball. And he's off to the races before he's uh, scoring the touchdown. Charlie Jones is only a sophomore out of Lenore, California. Is Dilbert really like that one? He's a great competitor, and uh, when people try to blitz him and take away what he wants, uh, he comes up on top many times. Jones has 4.35 speed. He's a blazer. Mahoney will kick off to the Cougars. Christensen and Anderson back deep. BYU scored first to lead 3 to nothing. They missed a field goal that hit the uprights. And uh, from there on out, Fresno State took advantage of BYU's inability to get the offense going, took the lead, and they bled all the way. Nathan Hall is out of the game, by the way. Having a, just some medical problems today has to do with his diabetes problem. I don't think it's anything serious, but he will not be back in the game. Fresno State usually scores over 30 points, but this is pretty hard for their offense. But uh, more was expected out of BYU's offense to, to stay up with him in this scoring battle. Mahoney kicks it very high. He takes it right at the goal line. About 10 yards. He's up to the 30-yard line. He's up to the 35-yard line. Back shot for Steve Hoff. Balance at the 40. Good return by Steve Christensen, who, by the way, is from this Fresno area. And a lot of players on the Fresno team are former high school classmates and those that he uh, knows. Nakawa Shepard, the tackler. I think he would have loved nothing better than bring one back against them. But that was a good uh, kickoff return. It gives BYU good field position to see if they can get something done. They're down by 17. They need three scores while stopping a potent <laughs> Fresno State team. Walsh at quarterback running from the shotgun. First and 10. From their own 40-yard line. Low snap, but he's got it. Sets up. Throws. Completes it to Gray. Graves will not gain very much on this. It's three. Fresno State players gang up on him. His forward uh, progress will be to the 42-yard line. Watson and Purdue hitting him. I think they know where he is when he runs his batter. And they, for the most part, they have him double coverage, and they really respect his ability. Gain of two, maybe three yards. I think it's second and eight. And that ends the third quarter of the football game. After three quarters of play, the score is Fresno State 34, Brigham Young 17. 
timeouts in Bell Olson as we go into the fourth and final quarter of this important black game between BYU and Fresno State. And Fresno State leads it by 17 points, 34 to 17. The Cougars will have the ball second and eight of their own 42 as well in the fourth quarter. They have a lot of offensive firepower, and uh, it's important now for, uh, for BYU to get something going. Uh, they stalled the last couple of series offensively, and you can't do that against Fresno State. Fresno's played good defense in this game. It's turning half. Okay, here's the second down play from the shotgun. Walsh with the ball, pretty good protection. Here's his pass, complete to the Matsuzaki. Matsuzaki spun to the turf at about the 47, short of the yardage for the first down. About seven. Tackled by Sam Watson. That was a good effort. That was a good catch. Uh, the receivers are struggling to try to get the extra yardage, but uh, Fresno State is doing a good job of reacting to the ball and making sure that they don't get the yardage after they catch the football. This has been a sure tackling team today. Third down for the Cougars. Third and three. They're near midfield at their own 46-yard line. Willis, the lone setback. They'll run it with Willis, trying to get the first down. He's got it. He breaks into the secondary. He breaks into the 40. He's down to the 35-yard line and out of bounds right there. Give the Cougars a big one. Sam Watson stayed with him, but it took him a while to finally get him out of bounds. He's hard to call it when he gets out in the open, and that was a good job of running. He found the hole, turned on the speed, got up through the hole, and got uh, good yardage and got him a first down. Down to the Fresno State 34-yard line. First and 10, BYU. And Walsh will operate from the shotgun this time. He's got it. He looks the field over. Steps up, throws. Incomplete. Under pressure. He had to unload in a hurry that time as the pocket collapsed. Tried to get it to Lewis, who's tied in. The pressure coming from Rio Wells. They brought their linebackers that time. They've been rushing four, but they uh, they know they can't get there with four, and so they've uh, brought the backers to put a little bit more pressure. It's open, but he had to throw a little bit quicker than he wanted to. Second and ten, Brigham Young. Fresno 34-yard line. Cougars down by 17. Anderson wide to the left. Graves to the right. Shotgun line. Here's the snap. Looking it over. Fakes once. Throws way downfield. He's got a man there. And it is incomplete. Tyler Anderson. Covered by Tommy Jones. They battled for the pass. And it falls incomplete. Neither one could come up with it. That was a good pattern. He probably should have thrown it a little bit harder because uh, Tyler didn't have him beat. He had a step on him to the outside. He just released to the outside. Turns on the speed. Right there, he's open. He has to wait for the ball. And that gives Fresno State man a chance to come and knock it away. But uh, that should have been touchdown if he threw it a little harder. Third and ten for the Cougars from the 34. Again from the shotgun. Walsh with the ball. Down to the 13 yard line. They thought they pushed him out of bounds. They had now that's Chad Lewis, the tight end. And it's a big first down throw. Lance Thomas knocked him off balance. He did not go out of bounds. He got another five yards. That was a good effort by Chad Lewis. Uh, he has good protection. He sets in the pocket. Waits for the open receiver. Gets the ball to Chad. Chad won't quit. He keeps struggling. Looks to get upfield, gets an extra five yards. Bryce Dolman's over there helping. They're helping each other out now on offense. First and ten Cougars on the 14-yard line. They run it. It's Jamal Willis. Jamal breaks the tackle, gets it to the eight-yard line. Bring up the second down. About a five-yard gain. Ron Papazian, the tackler. So BYU trying to get another score here. He might have been fortunate on that. He dropped the football, but I don't know whether the ground caused the fumble or uh, the official didn't see it. It's spotted on the nine-yard line where it is second down. Second and five, a five-yard gain on the run. Then. Again from the shotgun as the Cougars look for a TD. Here's Walsh looking to throw. Lots of time to the ball. Nobody even close to it. And the Cougars get another score to make it 
34 to 23. Bowman has his second TD of the game. His fifth of the season. And Walsh has his 14th touchdown pass of the year. Fresno tried to run a zone down there and only rush four. And if you give the quarterback enough protection, he's going to find a hole in that zone. And that's what Waltz did. That was a great throw. Doman uh, was wide open and an excellent touchdown for Brigham Young University. 34 to 23. And they'll leave it up to Joe Herrick to see if he can make it a 10 point edge once again. It's still wide open with these two great offenses. Herrick, the senior out of Orem, Utah. Down. And he makes it. So Eric makes it a 10 point lead. It is. Fresno State 34, Brigham Young 24. Just under 13 minutes left to play in this football game, and the Bulldogs lead by 10. And if he has time to throw, it's just like uh, Walsh. He can throw the football. Look at this good fake. By that time, the receivers break into the middle, underneath. This is a good defensive effort by Jack to make up uh, room and make the tackle. First down for the Bulldogs. They're on their own 43-yard line. With Trent Dilfer leading the way. High formation. Here's a pitch. Dagle tries to turn the corner. He's knocked out his feet at the 47. Dagle, the senior, tackled by Lenny Gomes and Randy Brock. That Dawson's nipping a little bit. I think BYU was running out of linebackers, so he may have to stay in there, Jay. Yeah, Herget got hurt in the first half. Remember, he's not playing. And also, uh, Nathan Hall is out of the game with an injury also. 
I think they got Morris in there as a middle linebacker, and he's a legitimate freshman, so this is a, a big adjustment for him. I know Muirbrook was limping earlier, so maybe that's why Morris is playing. playing second down and six for the Bulldogs from their own 47 yard line out of the eye. Here's Dilfer thinking. They're trying to set up a screen to the right side. It's caught over there by Dilfer. Dilfer goes down the sidelines to the 40 to the BYU 38 yard line. Nice play by the Bulldogs. They set up the screen and run it for a big gainer. They have a lot of offense and they do a lot of different things. Uh, Lenny Gomes was out there, but they also had a blocker to take him out of the play. Rosada and Dawson stopping him. As you look at that uh, Bulldog offense, ranked nationally, number four nationally in total offense, the ninth best scoring team in the country, and the tenth best passing team. BYU is the 11th best passing team. First and ten Bulldogs on the Cougar 38 yard line. Picks the offense up very nicely here at the second lead by 10, and they're looking for another score. That's a running, no, he's fake, he's still got the ball himself. Guilford being chased at the 50, comes over and will dive out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Good pressure by Travis Hall. He flushed him out of the pocket. He didn't like what he saw downfield. He's smart enough to uh, get to the sideline and get out of bounds. That'll bring up a second down then. the quarterbacks in this game. Dilfer's done all the way, thrown 32 times. Walsh didn't play until right at the end of the first half. And, uh, well, you can see three TD passes for both of them, however. Two pretty good quarterbacks, throwing quarterbacks. One-yard gain by Dilfer on that one is second down and nine. They're now on the Cougar 36-yard line. He splits his backs this time. The two men wide to the right, one to the left. And here's Dilfer back to pass. Throws it down the sidelines, completes it to the Cougar 23. Got away! He's into the middle of the field. He's down to the 10, down to the 5-yard line. He should have been down back around the 20, but he pulled free. That is Lee Harris. Patrick Mitchell finally got him. Or Patrick Mitchell missed him, I should say, upfield. And Frank Christensen tackled him. So the Bulldogs have a first and goal as a result of that. That was an excellent effort by the receiver. He catches the ball. Patrick comes up to make the play. Good protection again. Gets the ball out in the flat. Catches the ball. Patrick comes up to make the play. Doesn't wrap up. And as a result, he gets loose and gets the extra 15 yards. Good recovery by Patrick, but it was a little bit late. First and goal, and they run it. And they score. Off the left side, Daigle goes in to score, and Daigle has just broken some records. He was tied for the career lead in rushing TDs at 29, total lead TDs at 35, so he's just broken both of those school career records, as he has his second rushing TD of the year. It is now 40 to 24, Fresno State leading. And Mahoney will try to kick an ex another extra point. a big offensive series for uh, Fresno State after BYU would come back and got the touchdown to move the length of the field 80 yards again to, uh, to score a touchdown. The extra point by Mahoney, he made it once again. So with 10.45 left to play in this football game, the Bulldogs of Fresno State hang on to that lead. It's back up to 17, 41-24. to 24, And... Uh, if you look at the wax standings, well, let's, we'll come back and talk about that in just a moment. Fresno State out in front by 17 in the fourth quarter.
surprised over the what they're seeing from their team. Wyoming, an apparent winner in Hawaii today. They'd go 4 0 in the WAC. San Diego State is 3 0 playing tonight. Fresno State, if they win this one, and they're out of, out of trouble by 17, go 3 0. BYU has slipped to 4 0, and Wyoming will take over first place in the WAC, and San Diego State could tie them if. Uh, if they win tonight. So the black race getting scrambled up a bit here today. Mahoney to kick off for Fresno State with BYU sending Christensen and Anderson back to the goal line. Here's Mahoney's kick. It will bounce right at the five-yard line. Picked up there by Christensen. He runs up the middle of the field. On the line of the to the 30, to the 35, to the 40. Christensen made a great run out of what could have been a major problem because that kick didn't go into the end zone and stopped. I think uh, Mahoney is the one who made the tackle yeah. and he was grabbing onto anything he could so I think he's going to get BYU an extra 15 yards. He said, I'm going to take the kick, not to tackle. Great run by Steve Christensen. Christensen down at the 41-yard line which should give BYU some pretty good field position as the officials talk it over. See, it bounced in front of him and just almost stopped. Stays in play. He finds the seam, turns on the Jets. He has good speed, gets to the outside, and just about breaks it for a touchdown. It's only because of the kicker goes over, and you can see where he grabbed his face mask right there as he went out of bounds. He's number 15 in the nation in uh, kickoff returns. Christensen, a senior out of Clovis, California who walked on the BYU program. Dead ball. First of all, against the receiving team. Both penalties will be assessed. Five yards and then 15 yards. Well, they had the five-yard penalty on Preston State for the base pass, but BYU was called with a 15-yard personal foul. There's the five-yard walk-off. They'll turn around and walk out 15. So that, I didn't see the personal foul. It must have been behind the play, but uh, that really hurts uh, because you lose the field position that uh, Steve gave you on the kickoff return. Cougars will take over first and 10 on their own 31-yard line. Boy, Arizona and Washington State in a close one today in the fourth quarter, a three-point game. BYU with the football. They trail by 17 with 10 and a half minutes to play in the game. And Walsh will operate from the direct snap, the shotgun. He's got it. He's looking the field over. He throws in the middle of the field. Incomplete. Rage and Lewis were downfield, but he overthrew them. Back with them, James Burton and Lance Thomas. Looks like it took a little too long to develop, and uh, you ended up with two receivers in the same area, so uh, someone must have run the wrong pattern. Second and ten, Brigham Young, Cougar 31-yard line. Fresno State ahead by 17 points, and we see some of the Cougar fans on their way home now. BYU facing a third consecutive loss. Next week, they're on the road against Utah State in Logan. And you can bet the Aggies will be loaded for Cougars, too. Here's a snap, the snap of the direct snap. Here's the pass, complete to the middle of the field to the 45-yard line. That's the first down throw for BYU to Matsuzaki. Hitting him, Tommy Jones. They pass on Tommy Jones. A good uh, pattern and a good delivery by uh, John. In the pocket, he certainly throws the ball well. First and ten, Brigham Young on the Cougar 46-yard line. 41-24. Bulldogs. Rex snap. Walsh with the ball. Good protection. Throws. Almost. Well, it hit Anderson. Bounce in the air. And hit uh, Papasian right at the base mask, it looked like. And fell into the lane. There's another flag on the play. It looks like they're going to get a holding call. Looks like there's been a lot of penalties today. There were a lot of penalties in the second half last week against Notre Dame. We've had a lot of them this game on both teams. Both, both times and both teams and both halves. Ten yards. 
yard holding penalty on BYU. Puts the ball back on the 29-yard line from the Cougars. They get the down over. And now they face long yardage. First and 27 for the BYU team. Just over 10 minutes left to play. They're on their own 29-yard line. Walsh with the football. Zips it downfield, completes it. It'll be to the 44-yard line. That's that time for Eric Drage. Sam Watson and James Burton tackling him. They got back 17 of the yards, or about 16 of the yards they lost on the uh, penalty and all. So it is second and 11 for BYU at their own 44. Matsuzaki out to the left. Total yards in the game, almost 500 for Fresno State. Here's Walsh, who's almost intercepted. It goes incomplete. Getting in front was James Burton in front of Tyler Anderson, but he was only able to knock it down. Fresno State has been playing pretty steady defense. They've uh, given up a play once in a while, but they haven't given up very many of the big plays, and uh, they have more confidence in the defense today than they have all year. BYU at third down in about 12, 11 or 12 for a first down. As John Walsh, quarterback in on the third He's got it. He goes in the middle of the field. Nice catch at the 32 yard line by Ralph Spadaric Ray. He's now moved into uh, fourth place. In the uh, in career receptions at BYU, passing Todd Christensen, Omar Stoutmeyer, the tackler. That was down. That was a nice throw and a nice uh, catch. Eric just went right down the middle of the field, and John laid it up and allowed him to run in and catch the football. First and ten at the 32-yard line of Fresno State. Walsh again with the football and again throws it and again. tackle up near the 15 yard line just pulled away and ran it down to the one that was a good effort he got the ball they all come into game tackle he's a big strong individual he was able to break those tackles and then he's wide open headed for the goal line and just at the last minute they knocked him out but it's uh, first and goal on the two yard line first and goal Cougars as Jamal Willis comes in it's a good effort he's heading for the end zone speed gets there and just barely knocks him out of bounds but it's close all right, first and goal for Brigham Young. Team formation, full three setbacks for BYU. And it's Jamal Willis trying to score. And if he will, he ran it right to the left and he didn't have to the top. He got it delayed, to some blocking, and then carried it around the left side and scores his third touchdown of the year as a runner to make the score 41 for Fresno State and 30 for Brigham Young with 9.08 to play in the football game. He makes it look easy when he gets to the outside, and uh, if they can stop Fresno State on one of these series, they're back in it. They're still not out of the ball game. That was a good offensive series. It's a power formation. Get the block on the corner. As soon as Jamal gets to the outside, it's all over as he goes to the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. He gave the one linebacker a little dip there and then backed away from him and carried it on in for the score. 41-30 as Herrick tries another extra point. And Herrick has another extra point. So once again, it's a 10-point lead. Fresno State 41, Brigham Young 31, with 9.07 to play in the game. And the Cougars will be kicking off again to the Bulldogs from Fresno State. There you see the score. 10-point lead for Fresno State.
and Scott Berkeley made the hard hit for BYU. Now Trent Dilfer has nine minutes to go in this game. And he'll try to run some time off the clock and see if he can score again. The Cougars have three timeouts left in the game. And the Bulldogs have two. As they throw a man wide to the left, one wide to the right, high formation, slot to the right too. Crowd trying to help the BYU team as Dilfer, a late handoff. Rivers broke one tackle, goes wide, he's got 12 yards. He's a good runner. There's a flag down, huh? Jack DeMooney for BYU, the tackler, looked like they had him for a loss. Travis Hall uh, was back there and almost had him, but he, he slipped through his arms. But they're bringing it back. Talking to the BYU team. the holding call. Uh, lots of times when they break those big runs, it's because one of the linemen is coming off to make the play and he can't get loose because the offensive lineman has even wrapped up, Jay, so those are legitimate calls. And the penalty is locked down against Fresno State. Puts it back on the 21-yard line. So it's first and 15. The BYU defense needs to stop the blocks. If they want to get any chance to catch Fresno State. Here's Gilford rolling out and looking downfield and throwing downfield. And it was caught, but I think he was out of bounds. Well, the official said he was inbounds at the 31-yard, 36-yard line. Nice think, catch by Seaford. I think they talked him into that one. That was pretty close, but it was right on the Fresno State. Bench and the coaches was uh, were letting him know that uh, they thought it was a completion. There's also a flag back where the ball was thrown. Scrambles out of the pocket. Then he stays, throws downfield. I don't know. You got to have control, Jake. I think he was out of bounds. Well, roughing the passer is the call against BYU. like that will be tacked on the end of the play. So that's a big break for Fresno State as they walk it on all the way up to the BYU 49-yard line. Now they really start to watch the clock. With 8.50 to play in the game, Fresno ahead by 10. Nice catch in the sideline, according to the official. <laughs> I still think you have to control it. I, I think that was a gift. So they're a good field with the first down. And they've led from 10 to 17 to 10 to 17 to 10 to 17 throughout the second half of this game. Here's Wilford. It's a pitch to Rivers. One wide to the right side. Knocked down at the 45-yard line. Randy Brock. Pulled it down, got his ankles. That was a good effort by Randy Brock. Here's a big old defensive end that can run the way he does and uh, did a good job of getting out there and keeping him from turning around the corner. That was a good defensive effort by Randy Brock. Four-yard gain will make it second and six for Fresno State. They're just short of the BYU 45-yard line. Now just over eight minutes left to play in this game. Fresno State ahead by ten points. Trent Gilford. Gilford. Gives to Rivers. Rivers went right at the line of scrimmage. Gains a couple. That'll bring up third down. Good defensive hit that time by BYU. Travis Hall and Rob Morris. They tried to run that lead draw, and uh, BYU did a good job of uh, closing the pocket on him. Looks like there's an injured player down on the field. It's Rob Morris for BYU, who, who is injured, stops the clock. Four minute, or four yards to go for a first down, third and four, as they come out to check Morris. Rob 
about the freshman from Idaho. He's a great prospect. And the word is Nathan Hall is okay. They did take him to the hospital to check on his medical problem, but uh, they've released him. He's back in the state and say he's okay. Right now, they're checking on BYU's freshman star, Rob Morris, who was shaken up on the play. Well, it's his leg that they're... Uh, so they're losing linebackers right and left in this game. As no Morris will have to go out of the game. The Bulldogs have third down and four at the BYU 43-yard line. We could have a lot of fun things if uh, they stopped them once and scored. And you'd start talking about onside kicks and all those kinds of things. That open up like a whole bunch of possibilities coming out of the if they could stop them and, uh, and get, a, get some points on the board. 7.50 left to play in this football game. Fresno State leading by 10 and with the football. Wyoming has won today. They're 4-0 on the way. San Diego State 3-0. They will play tonight. BYU after this in league play, they play at San Diego State and then play Utah and UTEP at home. Last year, three teams tied for the conference championship after uh, with two losses. Something that had never happened before. No one I think had to it boiled down to the last game of the season, too, when Fresno State went down and beat San Diego, and that's the one that threw it into the, right. into the tie. And got Fresno State into a bowl game. Brigham Young went to a bowl game. Hawaii went to a bowl game. Utah went to a bowl game. And as a result of the loss, San Diego State stayed home. With more respect for the Western Athletic Conference, I was reading last week that the Freedom Bowl wanted to be involved with the Lions with uh, the Western Athletic Conference. School. So maybe we'll see more teams in the bowl game. Very important play right now. Third down and four for Fresno State at the BYU 43 yard line. As Gilford brings his team up and ready to go. Cougar's ready defensively. Takes the hand up. The Cougar's on top of him. Tries to set up a screen. Knocked away by BYU. And there was good pressure in the back of the screen, but it's Mike Christensen who got a hand in the football and knocked it away. So they probably were forced to force him for Randy Brock is the man who hit Dilfer as he threw the ball. That was a great defensive effort. They finally stopped him on third down. They're going to get a chance to get the football. And now if they put an offensive series together, they'll have it back down to the scenario you talked about, about an onside kick or the possibility of getting back in to tie the game or win the game. So this was very important to force Fresno into a punting situation at this point in the game. Mahoney will kick. And remember the Cougars blocked the front earlier in this game. Here's the snap. Flag goes down. The kick is away. I think they've stopped the play before. We're going to have to run it again. Probably too much time. The left guard moved just as okay. the ball was being snapped. So it's going to be a legal procedure. It'll be a five-yard penalty, and they'll have to punt it again. Offense, five-yard penalty. Still full count. You, know, you may go after it now. Uh, now they have a situation that even if you get a penalty, they uh, they don't get the first down. So uh, it may be tempting for them to, to come out and try to get a block. The walk off the penalty. And that puts the ball across the 50. And back into... Uh, you know, the, wait a minute. The officials may be marking it from the wrong spot. I think they are. The down markers are already been set, yeah. I think. And so uh, they were going to mark it out twice. If Lavelle would like that, I yeah. think. They're going to walk off five yards and then... <laughs> five more. Five more from where the down uh, box is placed. So the, it's the 48-yard line of BYU, the line of scrimmage. As Mahoney will be kicking from his own 38-yard line. Here's the snap. Cougars came in, did not get it. He got the punt away. Fair catch the signal. BYU will let it bounce, and he takes a BYU goal. That was a pick for the Cougars. That was a smart move by Eric Graves. He saw where the ball was coming. He knew he caught it, he would be on the 10-yard line, decide to take his chance and get that on the 20, and that's important to start an offensive series from the 20-yard line. At that time, the punt, instead of going high in the air or even uh, off to the right or left, it just took a quick bounce right towards the end zone and went in. That was a good effort by Travis Hall. He came close to blocking that. 7.23 to play in this football game. Cougars down by 10, and they have the ball on their own 20-yard line. John Walsh, who came up, did not 
start the game because of his injury. Came off the bench and played an exceptional game. We'll try to get his team moving. Now it officially stops play. It looks like, uh, I guess Fresno State has called a timeout. They do. The Bulldogs call a timeout as BYU's 80 yards away from a score with 720, what, 7.23 left to play in this football game. Plenty of time left. The Bulldogs lead by 10. Shotgun, they'll run it. Inside handoff. That is Caleb Hall scrambling inside the 20 to the 18 yard line. Tackled by Chris Rockwell and Lance Thomas. This is the Western Athletic Conference with wide open offenses and big plays. There's a lot of yards happening out here today. I said earlier some of the fans had gone home, but most of them are still here. They're enjoying this, the, uh, this offensive shootout. Eight-yard game on that one. Second and two for BYU. Walsh the pass again. Looks it over. Here's the pass. Touchdown! Touchdown to Tyler Anderson. And the Clippers narrow the lead to four points on a TD throw to Tyler Anderson. And Walsh has his 15 TD pass of the year. And Tyler has just tied his score. Once again, they only rush four. Played some coverage down there. And Walsh has enough time. He will find the open receiver. That was a well-thrown ball. And uh, Tyler was wide open in the end zone. It is 41 to 37 right now. With six and a half to play. BYU's down by four. And Herrick will try uh, and avoid the extra point. The defense stopping him. Got the ball back and the Cougars scored right away. And here is the extra point. Here's 
Tarek's kick. High and deep. Dunn takes it at the goal line. He's got five yards. He's got 10. He's got 15. And knocked down at the 27-yard line. Boy, he ran head on into someone and just rocked like a rock. Hope he's not hurt. Hope he's up. So first and 10 for the Bulldogs and about the 26. Mark Hathaway for BYU. The tackle. And this five at the 26-yard line. They get a good run from Rivers all the way out to the 38-yard line. Ron Rivers with Posada and Foot tackling him. First down run. That quiet spot of it. Once again, it's that delayed draw. He waits for uh, the defensive lineman to go past him, and then he finds a hole and uh, turns up field. Excellent running back, and like you said, it takes the crowd out of a little bit, but they'll get back in if they want the, the defense to hold and to get the ball back. Fresno State leading right now by three points with six points to play in the game. They have a first down on the Fresno State 39-yard line. Another time out for me. Three for the Beavers, one for the Bulldogs. High formation. Wilford gets to Rivers. Rivers is tackled at the 41-yard line. They really ganged up on him that time. What does he protect the ball well? Arizona has beaten Washington State in a close one. Here are and Hall, the tacklers. That was a good effort. There was a lot of defensive players around the ball, and that's what they got to do. You have to gain tackle because he will come off one man, and so it's important for you to uh, gain cat tackle and keep him from the big play. We'll see that Colorado first tonight today. Surprise. Second down. And seven for the Bulldogs of Fresno State. Still for the pass. Pressure into the middle of the field. He's got the man. He's wide open to the 30, to the 20. It'll be a touchdown. Holy smoke. Right in the middle of the field was Anthony Diggle. And he scores a big one for the Fresno State Bulldogs. For Diggle, that is his uh, sixth touchdown reception of the year. And now for Dilfer, his 17th TD pass. And from a three-point lead, it's back up to a nine-point lead. Once and again, you get into a, a different formation, and uh, you have a mix-up on the coverage, and someone comes wide open down the middle with, uh, with no one covered. So the score is Fresno State 47, BYU 38. And Mahoney will try another extra point. We've got five minutes to play in this game. Mahoney's extra point. He's got it once again. 48 big ones. The Bulldogs of Fresno State. 38 for the Cougars of Peter Young. And still five minutes left in the football game. So the Cougars will get it back from Fresno State. Check the lead. It's a 10-point lead for Fresno State. Well, that's answering, answering the crowd, answering the Cougar comeback as BYU had scored, stopped Fresno State, came back and scored again. Now the Bulldogs answer. Well, both these programs are very successful programs. I think over the last 10 years, uh, BYU's the fifth in the West and Fresno State's the seventh. They score a lot of points and there has been a lot of offense and there's a lot of pride. Uh, BYU, I think, can still not be counted out of it. The way they put the ball in that last series uh, with five minutes to go, there's still plenty of uh, time to, to make things happen. Uh, we may be going for an offensive record today on total yardage, Jay. I think Fresno State had 500 after the three quarters, so uh, there's a lot of offensive yardage out there. Not many teams beat BYU here in Provo. Especially back-to-back. -back. That, that rarely happens. And so there's a lot of pride. They'll, they'll hang in, and uh, all they need is a, a few more big plays. Baldy kicking off. Anderson and Christensen deep. And Christensen's had a good game as a kicker for her.
they may go to their two-minute offense. Uh, they have the ability to move it down the field. Uh, Fresno State's a little nervous about blitzing. When they do blitz, they give up the big play. And, and uh, so they'll probably just still play it straight and let them have the, the yardage, but hopefully not give them the big play. Fresno State by 10. And Brigham Young with the football. John Walsh from the shotgun with Paul and Willis, his two running backs. Audible. As the snake. Throws the it to Howell in the middle of the field. Howell is to the 40-yard line where it'll be a first down for Brigham Young. Sidearm that pass because he had the Bulldogs all around him. Thomas and Rio Wells. Once again, this is a smart move, going with the no huddle offense. Doesn't give Fresno State a chance to bring in extra people or uh, to, to change their coverage. So John will see basically the same thing. He can move the ball if he recognizes what the defense is. First and 10 at the 40 for the Cougars. They get it from behind. He's dropped at the 32 yard line. He didn't see uh, Chris Rockwell coming up from behind. And there's a big defensive play for Fresno State. It keeps the clock going, too. It might have taken just a little bit too much time because uh, the defensive end was blocked, and he came off the block and made the tackle. They just got to be patient. Move it down. They got plenty of time. Second and 18. By the tight end for the Cougars, Sal Yoni, at the 40. That would have only gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Crombie and Watson covering now. BYU is in the hole, but they face third and 18. They're down by 10. 4-11 left to play, and they can't give up the football. And that's not a bad idea, like on that last play, is to get half the yardage back rather than going for the, the long run. So if they would have got it, got the 10 yards, and had third and 10, they could uh, have success on that. This puts it in a long run situation. Here's the pass. It's the play to the middle field of Graves. And Graves is all the way to the 45-yard line of Fresno State. And BYU's got another first down. Thomas and Crombie uh, tackle Graves, but it's the Walsh to Graves show. Desmond has to know that's who they're going to go to, but he has a way of getting open, and uh, the ball's around. He catches it. That was a big first down for him, and, uh, and they're on their way again. Four minutes now to play in the game. Four minutes and four seconds. Here's Walsh with the ball again. Looks, throws, completes it to Christensen. Christensen to the 35-yard uh, line. Might be enough for the first down. Crombie and Stoutmeyer, the tacklers. I think it's going to be enough for a first down, and that should stop the clock, getting a chance to line up again. So they're not using a lot of clock. They're doing a good job of uh, moving the ball down. I think they're going to ask for a measurement, and uh, that will be the BYU's advantage to uh, have a little growth for the next play. It looks like it will be a first down at the Fresno State 35-yard line. The thing about this game today, it's been entertaining. A lot of things happen. It's uh, been an offensive struggle. Uh, we've had a chance with Fresno State to see a great running back and a great quarterback, and, and BYU's held their own. It's a first down. It's also almost four hours old. <laughs> we got the lights on. Might end up having a night game here yet, Jay. Cougars lined up ready to go as soon as they set the chains. Now compare the quarterbacks in the game. 456 yards for Dilfer. The most, but remember, uh, uh, Walsh didn't play much in the first half.
still with three timeouts left. And try to turn it over to the uh, defense. And boy, both teams explosive offensively, 48 to 45. Through three quarters, Fresno State had 418 total yards to BYU's 272. Let's see, at that point, uh, 90 yards for Rivers rushing. Here's a good job of uh, John Walsh taking his time, getting the ball to Tim. Tim looks up the middle, he's open. This is just a great individual effort. Number 18, the two freshmen. And he's going for the end zone. That was a great effort by Tim Nowowski. And uh, BYU wants to win this ball game. They want to come back and uh, get this take care of. So all they got to do is stop Fresno one time, and they're going to have a shot to uh, win or tie. That is interesting. Uh, something to know, too. The, by making the extra point, if BYU could get the ball back and not able to score the TD, they could go for the tie, which would help them as far as the lack is concerned. Coach Evans always said in a whack game, uh, he would go for the tie. So uh, I don't know after this shootout today what he would do, but it would be interesting to see if he would have the opportunity to make that decision. At least. Fresno State was expecting an onside kick, and so they called timeout. There was something, looked over to see what BYU was doing, and uh, they quickly called timeout. That's the last timeout that Fresno State has. Herrick had just uh, laid the ball flat on the ground and looked like he was ready to simply kick it. Maybe BYU will change their strategy here. It's hard to tell, uh, you know, with Fresno State not having any timeouts, they might kick it down there and take their chances, make them go 80 yards to, uh, to get the touchdown. Uh, because they're still in the ball game, they've shown that they can score within a minute or two minutes, and having those uh, timeouts will certainly be to BYU's advantage because they could come up with a, a sack. They could certainly hurt Fresno State at this point. Look at the players they have in their life. Winans, Rivers, Jones, Arnold. This is a good hand, people. Yeah. They, they, they want the people with speed and the ones that are used to handling the balls. That, uh, See? Yeah, Seabrook and, uh, and Davis and Harris. <laughs> They're not going to let those linemen touch the ball in this situation. And uh, BYU may change their strategy, and they may kick it down there at this point. But. Charlie Jones is the deep man. He's up at the 20-yard line now. He goes over the sideline to talk to his coach, Coach Sweeney, who sends him back out with some instructions. One thing about it, they don't have a lot of blockers in there, so if you do kick it again, you're pretty sure you're going to get down the 20 kick. The deepest man for Fresno State is Jones at the 20. Now he's retreating to the 15 back towards the 10. 3.43 to play. Fresno State ahead by three points. And Herrick will kick off for Brigham Young. He's got the ball teed up, so it looks like they're going to kick it off to the end zone at this point. I think so. Here comes Herrick for the kick. Drives it deep. Drives it into the end zone. They'll turn it over to the defense at the 20-yard line back. That was a pretty smart move. We got Fresno State to use their last time out, and uh, defensively, you can make things happen when the offense has to run their play and they don't have any time out. So uh, the defense just has to rise to the occasion at this point and make sure that they cover. First and 10, Fresno State. 3.43 left in the football game. They have the ball on their own 20 yard line. I think the Alvarez haven't even touched yet. Okay. Well, it can. <laughs> It can. Teams from the lower elevations can get tired during the fourth quarter. First and ten. Bulldogs, their own fight. Most of the crowd here. Most of the crowd turning on the noise. And here is a run from Rivers. Ran into his one own blocker and is down at the 25-yard line. So there's the first down run. Mazada and Brock for BYU tackling it. The little bowling ball, Ron Rivers, 5'9", senior. It's a good job of running. It looked like he had a hole. He ran into his own uh, player, and that's what brought him up short. Second and five for Fresno State. 3'17 left to play in this football game now. Fresno by three. They run it for Rivers. He will not get the first down. He's got three yards. So it's going to be third down, and BYU will take a timeout. Coach Edwards says stop the clock. 2.59 to go. Shane Muirbrook, the tackle. That was a great effort by uh, Shane Muirbrook. I think Nathan Hall's back in there, too. So uh, they do have the experienced guys to get the job done coming down the wire. When play does resume, Fresno State will have the ball. Third down. That box says second, but it will be third. And they'll need three yards. Look at the standings again. 
Now that uh, that adds to the results of some games today, with Wyoming winning to go 4-0, uh, Utah won to go 2-2, two two. Colorado State a loser, Hawaii a loser, and uh, this game still underway, BYU and Fresno State. San Diego playing tonight, right? Yeah, play tonight. If BYU wins, they'd stay in first place. If they lose, Wyoming would move into first, and San Diego State could tie them with a win tonight. And right now, we've got two minutes and 59 seconds of football with uh, Fresno ahead 48 to 45. That's where the strategy comes in once, uh, once again. Uh, offensive's trying to get all the, the plays down, what everybody does. The defense is trying to cover every option, and uh, it becomes a critical uh, situation in that. We want to make sure that they touch all bases. I think the key to the whole thing with BYU is they get good pressure. Imagine this game is so long that Nathan Hall because of some medical problems, able to leave here, go to the hospital, be checked out, sent back, and now he's back in the game. <laughs> That's pretty good planning, really, getting back to the last series. Third down and three for Fresno State. They'll try a power play to the right side. They'll get the first down. That's Daigle. He's tackled at the 47-yard line, a big one for the Bulldogs of Fresno State. Masada and Christensen tackled him, but they came up with the play they needed. BYU overloaded it the inside and brought everybody, and they were able to bounce it to the outside. If they would have tried anything inside, I think BYU had it shut off, but they were able to uh, get the block to the outside, uh, get the corner, and get the yardage. So uh, they have to stop them once more. Well, now they have a first down at the 47-yard line, and now time really becomes a problem for the Cougars. Here we see they have a shut off inside. They get two blockers out in front, and then he's off to the races, and uh, this is just a good job by the safeties to, to stop the touchdown. First down play for Fresno State out of the I formation. That is Rivers. Broke the tackle all the way to the BYU 48-yard line. He is not out of bounds. He is tough, but I think he's got a first down. Mazzotta and Hall tackling him, and now the uh, the Bulldogs have sort of taken control here at the end. The clock running. I guess it's not enough for the first down. Once again, it boiled down to, to missed tackles. There were uh, two defensive players that had a chance to make the tackle. He just ran through the arms and uh, came up with... Uh, the yardage to get him in second and short. This is really an ideal situation here because you can run the clock down. You've got a couple of tries to get the first down and uh, you can keep the clock rolling. Second down, about a yard for a first down. BYU loads up the middle. And Daigle dives over the top and I think he has the first down. So now with a minute 44, there's not a lot of BYU to do. Travis Hall and Greg Pitts tackling him. Well, they can still they can make have defense. two timeouts. Yeah, they can make a defensive play. They do have two timeouts, and it could put uh, Fresno State in a uh, uh, decision. He's going he's to measure to see if they did get the first down. And maybe to BYU's advantage if they did get the first down. Yeah. Well, I think they have it. A minute 44, BYU with two timeouts left in the game. And I don't think there's much doubt in the minds of most people if the Cougars could get the ball, could have gotten the ball with two minutes to go, they'd have scored again. I think they think if they can get it with, uh, with any time left, they have a shot, the way they've been moving the football. See, they stretch it out. It's easily a first down. Fresno State leading this series three wins to two. Got in the whack they played here last year in BYU won. This would be the biggest game for them uh, in many, many years. Well, I don't know. Let's go back to the coach. When he said that their program has been in the embryo, and he thinks it's just uh, starting to blossom and get to the level that he wants it to be. And part of that is coming in the Western Athletic Conference. Right. And of course, the win against SC was a giant step forward for them for uh, for their program. First Wilbur gives to, uh, well, he faked it to Rivers. Well, he gave it to Rivers. Yeah, he gave it to Rivers, and Rivers advances with a couple yards. Now BYU will take one of those timeouts. Muirbrook and Cook, the tacklers, with a minute 11 left to play in the football game. We're just trying to uh, milk that clock for all they're worth. Only one turnover in this game by the uh, team from California, the Fresno State team. And they have some very sure-handed running backs. They don't make a lot of mistakes, and as, for as much as they throw the football, to not throw interception is, uh, is really commendable. Next week, Brigham Young University on the road. They'll play at Utah State next Saturday at noon. 
Fresno State will be at Wyoming next Saturday, and that should be a shootout. The Wyoming Cowboys are for real. We saw them in one of our blue-white telecasts against the Air Force Academy, and they have a good offense and a solid defense. They started slow, but they've been playing better football every week, it seems like. The Bulldogs will have second and eight on the Cougar 40-yard line with a minute 11 to play. The Cougars with one more timeout. Think back to uh, the old what might have been. Think of the field goal that hit the upright. <laughs> Early in the game. That's the difference in the game right now. Second down. We have movement along the line, but both teams got back, and there was no contact, so the play is underway. And this is uh, Rivers from Travis Kane out of bounds. They do knock him out of bounds, but he got a big first down all the way down to about the 19-yard line. Nathan Hall pushed him out of bounds. So they get the clock stopped, and now a minute six to go. That's about it. Once again, uh, uh, Corey Cook has a chance to tackle him. He's just a, just a good running back. You don't wrap up or go through their legs. They run through the block, and he got the first down. I think Corey hit him about five yards away around the line of the but uh, couldn't make the tackle. Remember, we mentioned that Fresno State is under. 14 and 0 when Rivers has a 100 yard game. A lot of offense. 658 to 576. So there's a lot of things happening out there today. Think about it too, Mel. That started slowly. The first quarter, there wasn't much offense. Fresno had minus seven after the first quarter, so they turned it up a notch, I think. A minute five to play in this game, and Fresno State now has the game under control. The Cougars have a timeout left. Now, did we get a timeout call right now? Because uh, Booker's not going to talk to his coach. Delay of game. A delay of game called against uh, the Bulldogs of Fresno State. Puts it back on the 24 yard line. First and 15. Short of a unbelievable turnover. There's not an offer that you can do now. Because they've got two downs here. Wilfer's over telling the coaches what he wants to do. I think he's a coach on the field, and they have a lot of respect for him. He doesn't want to do anything that's going to uh, chance anything. He just wants to get out of here with the win. Well, they give it to Rivers. The Cougars shoot through and drop him for a loss at the 28-yard line, but they don't care. He just hangs on to that football. The Cougars use that last time out. Line of scrimmage will be the 28-yard line. But now, BYU's out of timeouts. Fresno State ahead by three points as the uh, Cougar defensive unit goes over to talk to the coaches. They just need to, to uh, drop to a knee now a couple of times, and the game's over. There's no way the BYU can uh, stop the clock. I'm sure what the defensive coaches are telling them is to grab the football, try to, uh, to cause a fumble. But uh, Fresno State, all they have to do is run out, run out the clock. Cougars don't lose very often in the homecoming games. I remember through the years a couple of times they lost once to Wyoming, once to uh, Utah State that I can think of. Well, the defensive team coming back onto the field then with 56 seconds to play in the game just over four hours old. Fresno State has scored 48 points, Brigham Young 45, as Dilfer is talking to the uh, coaches up in the stands. When you talk about the what-ifs type thing, too, if BYU could have taken advantage early in that first quarter, Jerry, of the offensive opportunities they had of the uh, turnover of the fumbles and get a couple of goals in the end zone instead of just hanging on for a 3 month in the first quarter, I think that would have been a different game, too. But you knew they were both going to open up to be a wide-open offensive battle, and so you need to score points when uh, Fresno State was having a little trouble with their offense. Once they got it rolling, uh, you're in trouble. They started slowly. Then remember they came up with two big plays for a quick score, and suddenly it's like they turned on the offense. Click. Cougars out of timeouts now. The Bulldogs with the ball. Second down and 19 on the BYU 28-yard line. Gilford with the eye formation. Very tight alignment. With one back man way back deep, and Gilford drops to a knee. The clock will keep running. They just have to do that one more time, and this football game is over. And there's not anything BYU can do about it now. The 
Ball will turn over on fourth down, though, Jay. Third down. This is third down. With uh, 30 seconds on the game clock. And a BYU player jumps off and makes contact along the line. That could stop the clock, but they'll start it again once they line up. That does not uh, help. That does not help a lot. As the officials confer. Dead ball. Offside. Against the defense. Five-yard penalty. The clock will start on the ready for play. You see, the clock starts as soon as you mark it for play. So with 26 seconds left to play in the game, this will be the final play of the football game. And Fresno State will have an amazing upset victory over BYU by a score of 48-45 to in Provo for the Cougars' homecoming. See, the Cougars scoring 28 points in the fourth quarter, but they fall just short. Came too little too late, I think, uh, Jay. Dilfer, ready to clock run. Has it, goes back, and being chased now goes to the knee, and that's it. That's the football game, and Dilfer is really excited about this because his Fresno State Bulldogs have finally done it. They have beaten Brigham Young University after losing to Colorado State on the road. Now they beat the Cougars by a score of 48 to 45 here in Provo. And with the win, they are back in the hunt for the WAC championship. And of course, the Cougars aren't out of it. It just makes an exciting scramble down the final leagues. They you know, uh, dug a big hole. There's no question about that because even Wyoming being the factor now because uh, even if Wyoming would lose one and BYU would lose one, Wyoming still has the advantage. And of course, San Diego and Fresno are back in it. So they dug a big hole. But uh, Fresno has a lot of respect for BYU. BYU has a lot of respect for Fresno. And uh, I think uh, they had a great offensive show today. Well, quite a finish to the football game as BYU comes from 17 points down, but they can't quite overtake them, and Fresno State has defeated Brigham Young University by a score of 48 to 45. I'm Jay Monson for myself and Mel Olson. Good afternoon. BYU Sports Broadcasts are made possible by the BYU Athletic Department and by the BYU Cougar Club, champion supporting champions at Brigham Young University. BYU football is made possible by contributing members of KBYU and by Granite Furniture Superstores featuring action recliners by Lane. The Granite Furniture Superstores with locations at Sugar House, West Jordan, Provo, and Layton. And by Tri-City Ford in American Fork with a selection of Ford cars.